Yeah, Noob the Goat strikes again. I We would... It truly helps out so much. Oh my god, Moosey! What? <laughs> the odds in, in Gen 8 are uh, 40-96. A Barbie moment? A female? Predicted phase for the rest of the hunt, Amelia. I see how it is. I'm I'm unsure, D Landry. I'm unsure. I can't remember how over odds we went in BDSP, but absolute tech support god. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Couldn't have done anything without him, and also just building the computer itself was was huge. Joseph just texted me and said, go catch one fish. It's a man. Ugh, that's okay. That's okay. For Bruce's birthday? I guess I can do it, Joseph. Right? In here? Oh my god, I went away. I reeled in too slow! Um, hello, Daydream. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Blimplug helped build the computer. Yep. Joseph, how are you, gamer? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. Hope you are well. Hello, Barboach. Um, Rizolos, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much for using your prime here, gamer. All right, happy birthday, Bruce. Hello, Sir Forgelot. Hope you're well. Congrats on your Meryl. Hi, Shadow Keys. Welcome on in. Thank you for this. <laughs> Imagine a shiny Meryl in the water. Can you even... Oh, my God. This isn't shiny today. You will eat your hat. Noted. It has sh it shakes three times every time and then breaks out. Pop in my back real quick. What's up, glazed donut? Lord. All right. Happy birthday, Bruce. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Take the sword away. All right. Anyway, moving on. Hello, sandwich. Hope you're well. Moving on, back to the stun fisk, back to the encounters. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really feeling anything today. Uh, this morning, I watched on YouTube a video of somebody catching shiny stun fisk in this cave, just to feel something and just to remind myself that it is in fact possible to find a stun fisk in this cave that sh is is yellow. And that's how my day's going so far. I'm not really, really feeling anything today. Feeling like anything will shine, but... When Milstery shined, I didn't feel anything either. I felt nothing that day. <laughs> James! That's how it be! You gotta remind yourself it's possible. The five state, yeah. 
Just gotta remind yourself it is possible, it is real. What am I fighting for? Real and true. What's up, Mochi? How are ya? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. What's a big burb? Reminding yourself it's possible. Way too relatable. Safari Zone hunting is so fun to watch. It, it has me on the edge of my seat every time. What's up, Tony? Hope you're well. Flygon 4 beep. What's up, Kai? Thank you for the seven months of Prime, gamer. Hello, hello. How are ya? Good to see ya. Rambier. I've been here too long. <laughs> Thank you for the 25 months! A little over two years now, Rambeard. How are you, gamer? It's good to see ya. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Hope you're well. A rocky montage. <laughs> What's up, Dylan? Thanks for, for lurking, gamer. Have a dentist appointment tomorrow? I hope it goes well. We're listening to Kirby music today. It just it just felt felt like the vibe. I don't know. Should you do something insane, Joseph? I'm gonna say yes. Churchy. Hi Terzactyl, hope you're well. Good to see ya. Moosey, it could always be Ken. You know? Yeah. That's the vibe. If it's not Barbie, it, it could be Ken. There are sirens outside, I apologize. You can hear that. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> We're gonna drop like a million points or something. Yeah, Sunny Bay, that is how many encounters we've done thus far. What's a backer on? How are you, gamer? Good to see ya. Hope you're well. The shine from Cappuccino tricks you every time. Well, maybe, maybe it's just like a refresh thing, Joseph. I don't know. I do not know. Sphere is such a good one, Moosey. Moosey, you have truly found some incredible gamers so far. Some really good guys. What's up, all my feels? How are you, gamer? Hope you're well. It worked, you're broke. Oh boy, Joseph, you're all in on believe. Hello, Crispy. How are you, gamer? Not useful one. <laughs> we could lead with maybe like bar brooch or something. I don't know. I like to see I like to see our gamers that we grinded for up in the front shining. Eternal, any recommendations? What's up, Latias? What's up, Snake? Hope you're well, gamers. Happy Thursday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to retake your lead, Migs. Platinum, I'm sorry, gamer. I apologize. Yeah, we have really grinded this this badge badge quest this week. We have hunted like every day and, and nothing. I use can. Litwick out in the front. Let's 
Light the way, exactly. What's up, Inkin? Hope you're well. Hi, Misha. Too many. I'm not sure how many, but definitely, definitely too many. The vibes are all right, Latias. I have just been feeling just kind of meh this week. I don't know why. Just very meh. But vibes are okay today, I would say. They're all right. Definitely laid in bed for too long. Only games you've not played, are they worth playing or not? Nah? I, I like Sword and Shield. The story sucks, but, you know. I would say most people aren't playing Pokemon games for the story, but the story is pretty bad. It's, it's one of the worst Pokemon stories for sure. Yeah, the soundtrack goes crazy. Overall, yeah, the gyms are such a truly such a cool experience in Sword and Shield, in my opinion. Hello, Georgie. Hope you're well. Hello, Macy. Um, but the story's pretty tough. But the Pokemon are cool. I, I like the Gen 8 decks a lot. You only play Pokemon for the for the plot. Also, Zany Ludicolo, how are you, gamer? Crispy, I'm leading with Litwick to have a non-shiny in the front, just to see if it changes the vibes up at all. We'll see. Probably not. Just completed the shield Pokedex this week. I would say the music is not better than Gen 5, no. But the, the gym music goes crazy. Hello, Hiplop. An undefeated Charizard. This is definitely Juan's favorite game. How are you, Molup? It's good to see ya. Hope you're well. Also, ads are coming in in a second, gamers. Ads are coming in. That is a pretty big jump, Inkin. Emerald to Sword and Shield. Gyms are actually somewhat challenging to the ice gym on your Nuzlocke. Just grind out the random encounters, I guess. I don't know. What, what would you look for with random encounters, Drew? The Gen 5 starter resets aren't too bad, right? Ah, uh, Prime, thank you so much for the brand new tier one, gamer. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much. True, Joe. I just, I love the experience of the gyms in Gen 8. Like, your controller shaking and, like, hearing the crowd really loud. Like, overall, really great vibes, in my opinion. The keys, <laughs> the piano. Clay is of the opinion that he likes the like piano theme that plays before Cynthia's fight more than the battle music whenever you're battling Cynthia. He is interesting. Kirsby, thank you for the two. Gamer, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. If you got gifted a sub, I hope you enjoy your, uh, your emotes. Thank you, thank you. He's got a point, you think, Blockmaster? You're the same way. Candle part is the best. Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you, thank you. Emerald Rogue is a like Pokemon hack, like a roguelike in, in Pokemon Emerald. And shiny Pokemon are pretty common. I don't know what the odds are, but they're like relatively common. And I've, I've always wanted to play it. So we made a sub goal for this week. If you would like to see that, I don't know where it is on the screen. Don't have OBS up. You take the moon, baby. Clay is truing. See, I prefer. I think the piano is handsome. I prefer. I prefer Cynthia's see, theme itself. But really hoping the Fisk shines today. Me too, gamer. You taught yourself the piano intro. That is so fun. I love that. Hip up. With no shiny Pokemon. I kill every shiny Pokemon. Yeah, Migs. Hiplop, thank you for the five. Thank you, gamer. Thank you, Hiplop. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. 
Um, if you got gifted a sub, I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's so hard, so addictive. I, I enjoy a, a roguelike here and there. Hello, Alonso. Hope you're well. Good to see ya. Hello, Comfy. But yeah, that'll this this will be like this today, and then if I stream tomorrow, it'll be the last two days for the sub goal. And then next week, if we hit it, we'll we'll start doing Stunfisk and Emerald Rogue. <sighs> if Stunfisk doesn't shine today. Hello, Tim. Hello, Trimex. Hope you're well. And you're stupid for not knowing. No, not at all, Duckworth. I would say not at all. Emerald, the roguelike is Emerald. Emerald Rogue is just like a. It's like a ROM hack that was super super popular like a few months ago. I think the hype has died down a little bit, but I would still like to try it. Joe, thank you for the three months of tier one. Oh, the three months in advance. Thank you, gamer. I appreciate that. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, thank you. What kind of game genre is your favorite? I think I like an RPG. Good old classic RPG moment for sure. What's up, Absolute? How are ya? Uh, Earthbound is my favorite video game. Thank you, my love. I appreciate you, gamer. Thank you, thank you. Exactly, Jenna. We honestly, we, may, we might be due this year, maybe in the fall, to replay Earthbound on stream, just so the people can, uh, can experience. It's such a good game. All right, I believe the prediction is up, right? Two minutes left if you'd like to predict to get your points in gamers. We need a Tessie emo, Jenna. <laughs> I have PO Vite. That's how I played it. Thomas, thank you, gamer, for the for the prime. Thank you for using your prime here. Jenna. The mind right now. <laughs> I need to, I think after, maybe I'll wait like maybe two more months and then I'm going to reach out to my emote artist and get to commission in since we have so many emote slots open right now. We'll, we'll get commission in soon. Crisis, thank you for the 300. Thank you, gamer. Thank you, thank you. I have not tried Mother 3, like, I, I, I tried to stream it. It did not feel like a stream game, if I'm keeping it real. It just wasn't the vibe. But, um, I might play it one day in the future. We'll see. A little dated. Hello, Tunkus. How are you, gamer? Good to see ya. D. Landry, Fort Remy is the artist. Um, they're linked in the description of the YouTube video. A very, very talented artist. Really love working with them. They always, they always kill it. Thomas, that's probably the vibe. I'm, I'm assuming we're talking Scarlet and Violet right now. Beartick, I'm thinking I'm gonna do... I'm either gonna do Gen 3 Safari Zone, or... I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I would like to do Heart Gold Soul Silver and go for Scorpy there, but I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided. I wanna I definitely wanna go for Scorpy again though, for sure. I don't know if I wanna do Great Marsh again, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I'm capable. I definitely don't want to do Great Marsh in Gen 2. Or, sorry, Gen 4. But... Who knows? Yeah, exactly, Tunkus. It's very fun. 
because of that. Makes things uh, interesting. Okay, I think I need to go check my mail, y'all. Lonely Bush, thank you for the three months of tier one, gamer. We are waiting on so many packages today. It's like insane. The timing. Hate Marsh, real, 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 real. Gonna brave Scorupi again. I might, I don't know. If I, like, I just, I want a shiny hunt in a safari zone where Meryl is, like, not possible. I don't want to see Meryl again, y'all. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. Um, Lonely Bush, thank you so much for the, for the three months of Prime. I appreciate that, gamer. Hope you're well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the hype train. Clay's actually not here. Clay's getting a haircut right now. I'm in the house alone at the moment. How many times do we got to teach you this lesson, old man? It was nice getting to explain the Meryl lore to the newer people to the YouTube channel in the latest YouTube video, which thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I, I really appreciate all the, the kind comments. Everybody thought it was my birthday yesterday. He needed it. Shock. <laughs> I know, men. Hope you're well. All good, Laxlo Tad. A little Meryl tattoo, I think, could go pretty crazy, honestly. I think if something crazy were to happen, I would be willing to, to do it. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Migs. In looking exactly like that, Jenna, yeah. Bearded Couch, I, in a moment of desperation, when we were doing the, the shiny hunt race with Sparty, I have a YouTube video on it, like a few, like almost a year ago probably now, I was in a moment of desperation where I was like, if Meryl shines in the next five minutes, I'll get a tattoo of Meryl. Like, I'm not even joking. And then it didn't shine. But I would have done it if it shined. I, re I really think I would have done it. But it didn't shine for us. But won't, I will not be doing the mochi dance, no. Not when that can be, you know. Clipped and shipped. Lasted a lifetime, Rambeard. I'd look at my arm and just remember. Think back. Complaining that I don't get excited about shinies anymore. I mean, to be fair, I don't find Scarlet and Violet enjoyable games that much. I'm keeping it real. That's exactly what I'm saying, Fire Whiskey. We're doing a badge quest, good guy. We are looking for a shiny Pokemon before every gym battle. Yeah, that's how I feel, Rambeard. The content creators who are able to consistently make Scarlet and Violet YouTube content and just like play it all the time. 
Y'all are real ones. I could, I truly could never. Not, not, not my thing. Hello, Scrap. We're out here. How are you, Scrap? Good to see you. Yeah, shout out to Shock Noble. Constantly pumping out that incredible Scarlet and Violet content. You love to see it. What is this banger tune, Moosey? Moosey, this is Happy Mambo. I'm not sure from what Kirby game, but it's at 51 minutes in this playlist right here. Look forward for marks on Chinese now for that extra challenge. Yeah, I love marked Pokemon a lot. I think it's really fun. Oh, really, Moosey? Kirby in the Forgotten Land is an impre imp like truly incredible Kirby game. Would rec would recommend. It's on the Switch. It's very fun. I really enjoyed it. It's like we're at the beach, yeah. You're in it for the story. <laughs> Couldn't get Hello. into the game How after are the first long gym. Time no see What's smiley up, Trixel? Face. Thank you for the eight months of tier one, gamer. Hope you are well. Good to see ya. Kind of got lost and never found any of the other gyms. Joe, which game is this? Is this Scarlet and Violet you're talking about? If so, I think that is totally understandable. Like that the marks give them a title, yeah. Yeah, Scarlet and Violet, that is understandable. I, like, whenever I stream Scarlet and Violet for the first time, everybody told me what the best first gym to go to was, but I wonder what I would have done if I, had, like, hadn't been told, you know? I probably would have gone to a gym that was, like, way overleveled or something. Knowing who I am. Really love Legends Arceus. Hoping this new Legends game will feel the same as Arceus did for me. I hope so too. I, I really hope so as well. Went to the ice gym first, Amelia. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I know a friend. I have a friend. I don't know how she got there because you have to have Coridon and Maridon like boosted a little bit. But I know somebody who somehow like I don't think it was her first gym, but she got to Tulip a little too early and was like, what is going on? Had to use a guide, Moosey. Yeah, it is a bit of a bummer. Brassius first. I think Brassius and, and what's her name are like the two ones that are like good to do first, right? Was Moon Jackpot? It's only two gens ago. Yeah, true, Eternal. She probably BLJ'd on accident. Ah, went to the mountain first, Amelia. What le what level was your team? <laughs> All good, Latias. We'll see you later, gamer. Shock, what are you talking about? Oh, really? I remember there was like some jump when I, whenever I was trying to get to Tulip's gym, that city, when you go into that cave right before Tulip's gym, I like could not get up, up the, up, up like one of the jumps in the cave. I could not do it. So I had to like turn around. And I think I did Tulip, like, Tulip was my seventh gym because of that, I think. Oh, 
are on right now, but you can't hit cannonless for your life. Scrap, you're running 16 star. Scrap go goes live challenge. Thank you, Kingstar. Team was around level 30. Ah, spent the first two days of the game shiny hunting. I love that, Amelia. I love hearing about the people who just like ran around for the first like hour, few hours of the game instead of like doing progress. True, Rambeard. Yeah, it's a little annoying. They're like, it's free roam. Oh, interesting, Amelia. I wonder if they use glitches. I'd be interested to, to look. I'm not surprised that it's possible since, you know, the game is so... A little busted. Five hours in before you went to the first gym. I definitely explored for a really long time. Hello, Domino. Starting with yellow jackpot? Oh my god, Churchy. It's tough. The the opening cutscene. It is rough. It's rough out there. I've not played a Kingdom Hearts game. I will be honest, I am not interested. I watched Shock play, and that's enough for me. <laughs> But yeah, opening game felt so long, Churchy. What's up, Ryan? And Refide, how are you, gamers? Happy Thursday. I'm Ryan. I am on my knees begging Stunfist to give us a chance. Yeah, I, I, I just know they are not for me. <laughs> just can tell. I'm not giving you Donald Duck. Not for free? Gabby Joe, give me. <laughs> Can we get a shallows check? <laughs> oh, recently re replaced the battery. That's so fun. I am not doing a Donald Duck, y'all. I'm not doing Donald Duck. You know who should do Donald Duck though? Clay. When Clay gets home, maybe we can get Clay to do Donald Duck because he did it the other day and it sounded actually pretty great. Ah, oh, 4,726, Ryan. Okay. Okay, okay. A shuckle check. Okay, next shuckle I see. I gotcha. Wish there were more people playing Sword and Shield. Nora has been playing a lot of uh, Sword and Shield as of recently. Eternal, I swear to God. We're not on the new camera today, Tim, no. Um, but uh, next week we will be. I'm waiting for a few more items to come into the mail before I can uh, set up my new camera. So we're still on the old camera today. That's with charm though? I didn't know you had the charm, Ryan. Oh my God. That ain't right. Sometimes Donald Duck just happens, maybe when I sneeze. My good. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, I'm gonna look just like handsome Squidward with my new camera, I can't wait. Yamper in 19 is crazy. That's like, that's insane, Ryan. It definitely balanced. <laughs> Have to get a new headset for work. Man, they got pricey. They are pricey. 
This headset was like a hundred and something and it's really not good. I'm keeping it a hundred percent real with you. I would like a new one. For a long time, I was team earbuds, but they just hurt my head too much. Have I watched any anime for Pokemon? I have not. I'm not much of an anime girl when it comes to Pokemon. You're the opposite. You're more of a headset person, Rambeard. Okay, Ryan. Interesting. Noted. What's up, Ducky? How are you? Yeah, it, this audio and microphone and all that, it just, it, it adds up. Oh, did I say the opposite, Rambeard? I am more of an earbud person. I, I would much prefer to do earbuds, but they hurt my ears, and so I can't do them. But I prefer earbuds over a headset for sure. But earbuds just hurt my ears so much that I can't do it. But I do prefer earbuds. I do prefer them. I just prefer them because they don't mess up my hair. <laughs> And I can like wear earrings. There's also an Animal Crossing movie that's pretty great. Make silence though it's great i do like the noise canceling stuff but i don't think i can wear noise canceling stuff like out and about i would be too scared what if somebody is like walking behind me i'm trying to hear my surroundings personally Got a weird shaped head. <laughs> Earbud pain and headache is something else. Yeah, it is no good. Oh, 2,000 each. No good, very bad. Yeah, there's an Animal Crossing movie. I don't remember what it's called, but it's very good. I watched it forever ago. Just wear one. That's smart, Platinum. That is smart. That is smart. I have not, Ducky. No. It is Moosey, yeah. I believe... Yeah, it was dubbed. It's been so long. I watched this in high school. I watched the Animal Crossing movie in high school. It has been, like, <laughs> a long time. I think I watched it on Tumblr or something. been a bit if I can find it after stream Lucy I might link it in the in the discord cover boys <laughs> There is honking outside. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my lord. Why are we honking? Okay, real quick gamers. I'm going to go use the restroom. Atreus, what's up gamer? Hope you are well. Hello, hello. I'm going to go pee real quick. So give me one second. Honk if you're gaming. So real and true. 
Uh, be sure to get your shiny checks in and just all your checks. Whatever that may be. Oh my god. Well, look who finally decided to shine. Hello, gimme ghoul. How are you, Atreus? Hope you're well. Good to see ya. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me go pee real quick. I will be right back. Hello, Hangry Oddish. And then we will get back to the Stunfisk. Uh, I'm gonna play some ads while I'm gone. Just so you know. Um, ads will be playing. And Migs, thank you for that bit. Oh my god. Mega Ninetales found a Mareep. Let's go. Okay, I'll be right back. One second, y'all. It is a cold day in here. Oh, noob, that's tough. Hello. How are ya? <laughs> Ludo! What's up, gamer? How are ya, Ludo? Good to see ya. These are, these are tough, y'all. These are no good. Hi, dinos. How are ya? Flamigo for Jenna. Something to think about for sure. You. I can't believe Megan Ninetales with the Mareep. Truly, truly incredible. Is that the symbol from the Lion King among us? <laughs> Alright, anyway. What's up, Shiny Panda? How are ya? My favorite part about the Lion King was when Mufasa vented. I'm glad to hear you're feeling better, Ludu. I'm glad to hear it. Very, very happy to hear that. Dinos, thank you for the four months. Churchy. Oh, there's Starmie. There you go, noob. <laughs> Dinos, thank you for the four months of Prime, gamer. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're well. It's good to see ya. It's lion time. I recently, like, I can't remember who. I was talking to somebody who 
didn't believe that there were like more Lion Kings after the first one. They thought I was like making it up. Hi, Prince Pretty, how are ya? Lion time, self-reported. I don't remember Lion King 3, but I do remember one and a half went crazy. I do, I do remember that. Fire whiskey, maybe it was you. <laughs> Now I am the Lion King. Yeah, I need to I need to rewatch it. It's been so long. I haven't really seen any of the Lion King stuff in, in quite quite some time. Hi, Hedgehog. I'm also glad, Ludu. Three was about, it was all about Timon and Okay, can you give your best Donald Duck impression for the stream? The problem with the Donald Duck impression is that <laughs> I can't do it intentionally. It can you please explain this? I can't even. Donald Duck is not, look, I have a lot of impressions in my repertoire, but Donald Duck is not one I can just call upon. It just happens. Also, I've noticed you've chosen a non-shine so that you can decrease the amount of time between encounters. No, we just did it for the vibe, but I guess that also is what heck is happening. You will get more encounters. Clay does a pretty good plankton. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know, it feels weird. This is how it feels when people are like, dance, monkey, dance, like, do this, do this. The forbidden power. Somebody earlier said that they can only do the Donald Duck when they sneeze. I just get into a certain it just happens. Huh? We're on 5,201. Um, did you check the mail? I did. Get it. You got it? Okay. I'm, nice. not gonna, I'm not gonna open it until you're done. Okay. Yeah? Play haircut. How does everybody feel about it? Mayor Quimby? Handsome. Thank you. <laughs> Fresh cut. Only one hair was cut. Yep. Oh, I. Uh, she told me how much. Dinos. I need to get my hair cut very bad. My my ends are looking crispy right now. <laughs> okay, so you don't you can stop. Friends, stop. <laughs> Go away. Give me the formula. So I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> I had the formula! Give me the formula, yeah. crap! <laughs> oh my god. Isn't it so good? It like is like truly alarming <laughs> how good it is. Do a perfect cell line? What is that? He sounds like Plankton. 
from DBZ, dude. I've never seen Dragon Ball. Thought that was a sound clip. Why are you mute? I just couldn't believe it. I I'm wasn't. I element. wasn't ready. I'm in my element. <laughs> Please? Shock, why don't you come over to my stream and get the sub and then we'll talk. I don't do these things for free. Who do you think I am? That's why I muted, because you were just giving away all this stuff for free. The one thing I haven't tried is the, uh, you know when he's talking to Karen and he says it's hot? Like it gets scratchier? I don't know. Also, hello, Luke. Hope you're well, gamer. You came in during craziness. And what's up, Dubon, as well? No, I do not know. Because, like, he'll... Like, when he's talking to Karen, like, he does his inflection. So I'm like, Karen? I don't know. Can you find out I could do Mr. Krabs or something? I don't remember. I, like, did it on X. I just, like, did it on a win. Not that bad. Mr. Squidward. Okay. <laughs> Dubon, anyway. Dubon, stop. Okay, thank you for the 15 months. You gotta get out of here. You were, you were like, everybody's gonna be like, dance, little guy. Yeah, and now you're just doing dance. it for free for no reason. I love to dance. Okay. Dubon, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. <laughs> Um, uh, maybe. I'll take like a few bites. Oh, okay. I'm I'm okay for now. Anyway, the whole cast, the whole episode, just right right here. He's got a mean Gary. <laughs> Doesn't Gary only meow? The next SpongeBob stream. You know, you want to know something else that Clay does very well that is like truly upsetting is Carl Weezer. It's alarming and it makes me uncomfortable and I hate when he does it. Moosey, you really just missed it. I don't know, Ollie. These are all great. Listen, you all can go follow him and go request voices over there. <laughs> I don't think he's going live today, though. Check a shuckle real quick. <laughs> Fuck, master. <laughs> One plankton bit at a time. I have nothing, Shiny Panda. I can't do a single. I am not good at impressions, improv, like anything like that. I am not good. I do not like that stuff at all. <laughs> that song was a jam. Certified Kirby slappers, just one after the other. Hi, Flame Boy. I just would say patience. As long as you know what you're doing with radar, just patience. If I found a blueberry shuckle, I would be very pleased. I'd be very pleased, honestly. Shaggy and Chewbacca! <laughs> Improv was your weakness. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. It makes me very, very, very anxious. Anything improv, I, I can't do it. It is not for me. I just, I get nervous thinking about it. 
I'm not really good at bits and whatnot. No, scrap! <laughs> I used to have to like take improv classes and it was just horrific. I hate it. It makes me so anxious. Yes, and I love watching like professional and like good improv, but other than that. Mega Ninetales, no worries. It's good to see you, gamer. Permit always a fun, fun voice to do. You're at the DMV and it's a Thursday. Go. Oh, that's see, Shiny Panda. I loved, loved whose line is it anyway when I when I was young. My parents let me watch it all the time with them, and I, I really grew up on it. I didn't understand like half of the jokes, but I loved it. Someone tells a joke on command, you freeze up. I feel like that's how I would be eternal. And honestly, D and D like kind of intimidates me. I've I've I know I will probably end up doing it one day, but I've always been too scared to do it because I just you know the thought of making things up and whatnot, I'm just not good at it. Any theater things make you anxious? You're in a cave, and there's a shiny stun fist. Helpful that there are rules. Born to act. <laughs> Avalanche and laid under a sheet for 10 minutes. In what? Kirby Air Ride music. We're listening to a uh, a Kirby playlist right now. Here, I can I can link it for you. Yeah, Tack Challenge is the song right now. Hi, Jed. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Help me by not putting uh, pressure on you to speak. That is super helpful, Tonkis. Why is my head itchy? It's been ages. Is Luke, Bookie still what's thing? Up, gamer? What have I missed? I need a rundown. Thank you for the 19. How have you been? I hope you've been well. Hello, hello. It's good to see ya. Truly, a lot has happened, I would say. I We're currently in the middle of a badge quest right now. Um in Pokémon Shield and we're we're truly just vibing. Vibes only. We will not be giving up on Stunfisk. Just just let it be known. <laughs> Oh, congrats, Duckworth! What game? This is Gen 3. Are you doing runaways from you? The third one, Ducks. Bro Gunk, it's not about you, bud. Stunfist about to show up, you think so, Forge? Oh, 
We'll see. We will continue to vibe. Not even for a shiny shallows. If we like see something else shine in this cave, that'll be great, but we're still gonna go for Stunfisk for sure. We're gonna buckle down and, and, and just continue grinding for the Fisk. Because in the end, that's what we want. We didn't give up on Milsery. <laughs> one of the other hunts have been over odds i i'm honestly pleased like i'm fine with this one not pleased but like i'm fine with this one simply because we're hunting in such a beautiful area you know hello jeebs oh congrats on the arl onyx you love to see it I want stun physics. It's no longer about what you want, Migs, or what we want. I finally decided to put myself first. All good bearded couch. We'll see you later. Hi, Nuclear. My power just flickered. Surely that's a good sign. I don't know, Thomas. I, I kind of like to just be surprised, you know? But honestly, when I think about it, I'm not really sure. Yeah, scrap. This is true. This is true. Finally, I put myself first. Check it every stream. Canada. I, I really don't know what I'd what I'd like to see. I don't know. I don't know. I, all I know is I'm excited to go back to Kalos and then get some more some more history about about Kalos and whatnot. Really, really looking forward to the new legends. As long as you're outside of a major city. America. That's Unova. You need more America? <laughs> Come on. Oh, Stunfisk. Oh, Stunfisk. Noob, I literally re-watched somebody find a shiny stunfisk this morning in the cave, a video on YouTube, just to feel something again. <laughs> just to remind myself it's possible. Sometimes when you go over odds, it's like, you gotta remind yourself that it'll happen. <laughs> but it's definitely not uncommon to start feeling doubtful and like you're doing something wrong. I think a great way to get a little kick of motivation is to watch the Supreme Arcanine's Reggie video on YouTube. It's a banger video that really reminds you, uh, you know, just to be patient.
Hello, Jim. Thanks for lurking, gamer. It's good to see ya. Better not lose all your cubes. Curse me, did you go all in? Oh, enjoy Iceland. Enjoy, enjoy. All in, oh god. We definitely are gonna go a little longer today just because my stream on uh, on Tuesday was just so short because of the computer problems. Hi, Sky. How are you? No issues yet, noob, and hopefully never. Knock on wood. Um, after my computer crashed while I was editing, I was like, okay. I did everything, and then so far, so good. I don't know what that is, Churchy. I don't think I'm a real one. Kid to a doll background. That's how I was for a really long time. Pokemon Sword was the first, like, ever accidental full odd shiny I ever found. And then Heart Gold was my second game where I found an accidental, just full odds shiny. It was Whalmer. I was just surfing around in Pokemon Sword. Ran into a Whalmer, and I was like, what the heck is that? Why are you pink? And I still have it. And then uh, a Caterpie. But this both weren't until recently, and I've played Pokemon like the majority of my life. I'm a little sad that like as a kid I never had any fun stories about running into a full odds gamer. Laxotad, thank you for the lurk. Tentacool, that's such a good one. Uh, that is such a good one. Swablu and Sapphire, oh no. Hi Snide, how are you gamer? Krabby and Silver, I'd love to go into Gen 2. How to catch Feebas, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Are you serious, noob? That's crazy rare. That is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, Gen 2 seems like it would be a lot of fun to, to go back and and look for look for things. I think I one until nine. Yeah, mine wasn't until eight. Masculine, really ram beard. Hello, Bruce. Everybody say happy birthday to Bruce. Bruce, congratulations on, I don't remember that time. <laughs> I don't even remember that run. Happy birthday, Bruce. Are me and Lee now, are we Are we last place? What's, what's it looking like? Is it, is it tough out there? How are you, Bruce? How's the birthday going? It's good to see you, gamer. Huge happy birthday to Bruce and Rafai. Thank you for gifting that sub to Williams. Thank you. Big birthday vibes for Bruce today. One of the greatest gamers to ever do it. Man beard. <laughs> Blood's stunky and Pokemon Diamond as a kid and killed it because you thought it was a glitch. Yeah, I think this is a very, very, very common 
thing for a lot of us as kids is we see something and we hear like a weird noise and we're like, oh, that's gotta be wrong. I had my childhood best friend growing up and on the cul-de-sac, she ran into a shiny Zubat in, uh, in Gen 3 and, and killed it. And she told me about her green Zubat and I didn't believe her. I didn't gaslight her. I just was like, I don't... That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I didn't tell her it was she was wrong. I just was like, I don't know about that. I was in second grade. Third grade? Snow Rat and Emerald. Oh, that's a good one, Joe Yoshi. Yeah, we're not trying to increase our odds here. We're trying to just hunt full odds. Not cool, Arlie. The poison ticks were glitches. A Reshiram? Oh my lord. Yeah, exactly, Snide. We just had no idea. Those were truly the days. Oh no, Moosey. No good. Wiped your save file for some reason? Oh no. Hi, train. That is so annoying, Churchy. No good, no good, very bad. No good, very bad. Oh, was C dot stainless? That's so fun. That's such a good one. Who, what, what game are you looking for, for cast form? You're, are you searching in Gen 3? Are you doing Trophy Garden? Also, ads are coming in, gamers. Enjoy your ads. Hope you get a good one. I love that Laxo Tad. Me and my sister, we had like something bookmarked for all of the the Animal Crossing GameCube cheats that you could use. So that you wouldn't have to like grind for money. easy it is to get away with like doing that kind of stuff in, in, in the GameCube version of Animal Crossing. Chinese Albi and Petalburg Woods. But yeah, I, 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 are they really cheats if you just, <laughs> they're just easy accessible codes? Easily accessible codes? What did Tom Nook do to me? What did Tom Nook do to us is the real question here. Sand dial in white too? I love him. Sand dial is a certified fella. I love little fellas.
I know, A Train. It's truly silly that <laughs> Fido shined with the Destiny mark like so quickly, and then, you know, Meryl just never showed up. Destiny mark Meryl, that is. Got a Matang outbreak. Good luck, gamer. Hell yeah. I've seen a few Beldum outbreaks, but never a Matang. Make them super threatening. <laughs> Snide, I would always, dude, when I was a kid, I had major beef with Barbara the Sheep. Do y'all remember her? She did me so dirty. Phoenix, what's up, gamer? Hello, hello. What is this, what is this resub message? What is this? Sometimes when I am home alone, I spread hot sauce all over my body and crawl around on the floor and pretend I'm a slugma. Phoenix, thank you for the nine months. Thank you for the tier two. And that is all I'm going to thank you for. How are you, gamer? <laughs> Good to see ya. Hope you are well. Um, Barbara sucked. I hated Barbara. And I used to write, I used to talk my shit on the bulletin board about, about Barbara. In my wild world town, I would be like, Barbara sucks. I don't think I would write hate mail, but I would write on the bulletin board for the entire town to see. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> Urban Mystica. Don't have to use the Academy Special anymore. The Academy Special is kind of fun, though. We can't, we can't deny it. Forgot to register his birthday. Oh, no. And six hours in. Mannered, hello. Thank you for the tier one for two months. Good to see you, gamer. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're well. You live your slugma truth. Barbara's in your New Leaf town right now. I, I I hated Barbara, but if I'm keeping it real, I completely stole Barbara's like house vibe. I loved the way she had her her house set up, and then she played KK Swing in her house, and I like stole everything. Like I stole all her ideas. I hated her because she called me like ugly or something one time or like told me my clothes looked bad and I was like, girl, chill. Sent them bad letters. I think it did make them more likely to move out. Yeah, she was a snooty villager. So like. Yeah, no. Shock the, the 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 dialogue for the Animal Crossing villagers in the older games goes insane. They can be so mean. They will straight up just call you ugly, not even behind your back, to your face. <laughs> Shock. You made the game. <gasps> Congrats, Jackpot! I, I also kind of miss how mean they were, but not like sometimes it made me feel bad, man. I think it was like Rosie who was so mean to me in my GameCube copy. Yeah, 
they're a little too nice now. <laughs> Coco is an icon. On the uh, in Wild World, I found Rossetti to be such a pain. It was really hard to get Rossetti to go away. I, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was like just a random chance for Rossetti to leave you alone. Literally, noob. My boy Rocco. They really just. Phoenix, we're, we're, somebody suggest, I think it was Eternal suggested we, we send out a, a Pokemon that isn't shiny and just see what the vibes are like. And that is what we're doing right now. It also saves a little bit of time, but. We're just trying to make Stunfisk feel a little bit more special, you know? One time Barbara called you a loser. Dude, I'm telling you, man. These villagers had us feeling emotional and crying. I cried. I cried. Oh my god. My sister cried so hard when Alonso. Oh no, no. Alfonso? Alonso? Alfonso? What is that crocodile's name? I don't know. When he moved out of her town, my sister could not play the game. She 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 was done with Animal Crossing after that. That was her boy. I remember feeling sad when when Barbara moved out, and I don't even know why, since I hated her that much, so much. I guess because she just added so much character to the game, to my town specifically. But I was sad when Barbara moved out. Who knows why? a bad relationship for sure <laughs> very complicated definitely not a relationship to envy Kinnons. Hello, hello. Have I no idea where to start? Do you have any tips? I guess uh, maybe looking into various method hunts or I would say a good way to get into shiny hunting is just looking for one of your favorite Pokemon, honestly. In a, in a game you enjoy. That's what I did with Turtwig. That's how I got into hunting was with was the briefcase. Briefcase Simulator was definitely an interesting first full odd shiny hunt to take on. But it was fun. Hello, Quick. How are you, gamer? The voice of the Overodds community desperately needs a large platform. I'm out here. I am out here. How are you, gamer? It's good to see ya. Hope you're keeping well. Feel that about Graham? Love his quirks? People love to hate on Graham the hamster. Including myself. Love to hate. Hate to see him leave. Hate to see him leave. Okay, yeah, it's okay. The Animal Crossing villagers who had like the deep, low voice, those were always the mean ones. Those were always the ones who were just absolutely vicious. Like, just messed up. Chow, Rocco. Who else was a jerk? Hamphrey. I'm trying to think of who were my bullies? Who were my bullies, <laughs> were my bullies in Animal Crossing? Hamphrey was kind of mean to me. Um. Graham? How did I say Graham? Graham? That's how I say Graham. There were there were a few other uh a few other 
<gasps> Caesar! Caesar! Caesar sucked. The gorilla. I did not like Caesar. He was very mean to me. There's also some frogs that were pretty mean to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is absolutely possible to hunt without the charm. A lot of people prefer it that way. Graham? You say it, Graham? I say Graham. You vibe pretty well with the grumpy villagers? I did not, Chemical Bomb. I do have a list. Caesar! Caesar sucks. <laughs> Chester? I liked- I liked Chester. Yeah, it was- it was the- the grumpy villagers and the snooty villagers who kinda sucked. I also- I always really liked the jock villagers, though. I thought they were pretty fun. Rod, I think was his name. He was a mouse. Could be wrong. He was a fun little guy. I enjoyed him. Wait, Chester started being vile to you? Something I remember very vividly from Animal Crossing City Folk was Mac, the dog. Mac, who I believe was a jock, sent me a box of chocolates one year for Valentine's Day. And I was like, Mac? <laughs> what is this? What does this mean? First time, I was like 14. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that's so... Jenna, some of the horses are pretty great. They are pretty great. I liked Poppy. Rod moved into every new town you made. Lonely loser status. What's up, Rosiden? How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. How goes the Thursday? I hope you are well. Dom is a gamer. I, I enjoy Dom a lot. Aitor, hello, hello. Hope you're well. Definitely first time. Of course, mannequins. Yeah, if if uh, if you have a like, I would I honestly recommend hunting in in whatever game you prefer. I do have a favorite villager, Biscuit. Biscuit is my guy, my dog, my number one. He's got the white eyes. He, that's my guy. That's my fella. Hello, Sarah. I am sending truly every spare good vibe I have. I'm sending it your way, Sarah. The vibes are a little off today, I cannot deny. But hopefully, hopefully you can vibe out a little here. It's good to see you, Sarah. We're talking about uh, Animal Crossing villagers. If you have any fun stories. To elevate, to elevate the vibes. Inga leg, hello. Hope you are well. Good to see ya. Gonzo. I'm also a very, very, very big fan of Kiki, the cat. Kiki is probably my second favorite villager, but Biscuit is definitely first. Also, 5,300. You hate to see it. You hate to see that number go up. Duckworth, honestly, um, New Horizons is a great Animal Crossing to start with. It has a little bit of everything from the previous Animal Crossing games. It's definitely not my favorite, but it's probably the most accessible and like, it, it, it's probably just the best for, for somebody who wants to get into the franchise. Pietro goes crazy. I love Pietro. I understand the hate for Pietro, but I love him. Scoot! Scoot might be my favorite jock villager. I love him. He's so stupid. 
to hunt for Dom just to find him in three <laughs> islands. Oh, that's funny. I love Dom. He Dom does not look like a jock. We do, Migs. We sure do. Always makes you want to pick up New Horizons. Yeah, it is March now, Jeno. It is March. Me too, noob. I feel like Dom should be like a little lazy, silly guy. But instead, he's just... Pumping the weights, I suppose. <laughs> Dude just wants some shells. <laughs> Filbert? Filbert's the squirrel, the blue squirrel, right, Ollie? What's up, David? I love the dog so much. I love Lucky a lot, the mummy dog. I'm a cat person. But I will say, I prefer the dogs in, in Animal Crossing. I love them all so much. Shout out to Mac. My first ever Valentine was Mac. Animal Crossing City Folk, that's something to think about, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna think about that one. Thomas, I, Genji was, Genji the bunny was one of my starter villagers in, in New Horizons. And I, he's still on my, my 2020 island. I have not let him leave. I did not let him leave. He is still there. I love him. Reminds you of Hazel. Hazel not so she's your favorite. Oh my god. I love flaming Animal Crossing villagers. It is very funny to me. Hello, Glazed Donut. Shout out to my new leaf island or town, I guess. We have every ugly frog except for Lily. Okay, Jenna, wait. I kind of like Ken. Ken was my first. Oh, wait, Jenna. Was he your first ever campsite villager? Cause he was my first ever campsite villager. And I kind of liked him. <laughs> I was like, welcome to the, welcome to the squad, Ken. I kind of enjoyed Ken, I'll be honest. I did let him leave eventually, but he was my first ever campsite villager in New Horizons. Eric is a great, I love Eric. Eric is a vibe for sure. He's a jock, right? Uh, Jacob, thank you for the prime for 10 months, gamer. Good to see ya, hello, hello. Whoa, Moosey, I have her on my town right now. We really are, Jenna. Something's happening to us, our, our, our energy. Yeah, I liked him. <laughs> Chicken villagers are all underrated, Churchy. You have something to say? Your favorite villager is a chicken, mayhaps? You like the ones that look a little weird? Bill, that's a certified duck moment, T40. Whoa, Moosey. See, that's how I feel about Barbara. <gasps> Bones is so good. Bones is such a good one. I love the dogs. The dogs go crazy. Mitzi, Mit Mitzi is, is nice. I like her. Yeah, the same snooty energy. Oh, Jenna, my starting villagers in New Horizons, Genji and Rocket. I saw Rocket and I was like, get that. Get that. Why, why are you wearing that helmet? What is going on? She refused to leave. I 
like the gorillas, but I don't like Rocket or Caesar. Just because Caesar bullied me. Caesar was so me mean to me in, in Wild World. Prince, any frog villager. There are some really, really, really good frog villagers. What is the gray? I always forget his name. But he's like a smug gray frog. And I think his name is one syllable. I love him, whatever his name is. I always forget. Huck! Huck is so cute. He's a little guy. He is a certified little guy. I want Huck on my island very badly. Still play Pocket Camp? I played Pocket Camp for a little bit when it first came out, but I never really, like... I don't know. I'm not much of a mobile game girly. Also, speaking of mobile games, Pokemon Sleep did not record my sleep last night, and I got, I, I, I'm pissed. Maybe that's why the vibes are kind of bad today. Ketchup is my queen. <laughs> Speaking of, we need to we need to feed our Snorlaxes, y'all. Talk Pokemon, not AC. Glaze Donut, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bitter, there is no mustard. Maybe we'll get a mustard duck one day. Hello, Sunny Bay. Still no luck, but to be fair, we've been at this for over a month. Okay, let me feed my Snorlax real quick. I'm so excited about my shiny dial. You had Elvis as the starter and he ain't it. Yeah, the... The lion villagers definitely weren't my favorite. I remember I liked Bud. Bud was a vibe. But other than that, I don't really remember. Anybody else? Could remember the name of all the different villagers. You could probably name all the Pokemon. <laughs> have no room to talk. All right, my Snorlax has been fed lunch. Google every villager you mentioned. No, I have a, you have no idea about anything to do with Animal Crossing. Mayonnaise is not an AC villager. Alright, Snorlax has been fed. The world can continue. What's up, Swifty? Welcome on in. It's isn't that crazy, Sarah? <laughs> Ain't that something else? Poncho is a cutie. The cubs are definitely very cute. For sure. This is not Duke. Um, I haven't set up my new camera yet, mainly because I don't have the dummy battery for it. But it comes in today. The dummy battery comes in today. I'm excited. Excited to get the new camera set up, and then we'll probably try to do a banking stream soon. Maybe try to do it next week or something. We'll see, but I'm excited. I'm really excited about this new camera. It's about to change the game. You're about to see my pores. It's gonna be great. But the reason why the camera angle is a little different today is because I took this camera off to see if I could like, if my old camera could like fit properly and whatnot. And so it's in, in a little different spot now. My bone. No PC problems today so far. Nothing so far.
Maple was a cutie. I've never, I've never had maple on my island before. Definitely a popular village for sure. I feel like people really enjoy her a lot. I think I'm gonna bake muffins. Oh. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> the crappy fatty seeker formula. Hi, Raisin. The normal villager dialogue gets a little bit rough after a few months. Absolutely, it does. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's up, Nix? You wanted Maple so bad, but she never showed up. I enjoy villager hunting, but there is a bit of a thrill from just auto-filling and like like letting whoever move in. It is kind of fun, honestly. Um, Dan, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much, gamer. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you. The song is kind of a banger. The autofill is almost always awful. This is true. Get people with the axe. Something nice in the newer Animal Crossing games, specifically New Leaf and uh, the New Horizons, is that you can like. Like, New Horizons, the weeds aren't really that disruptive, if I'm keeping it real. They're honestly are kind of like an aesthetic. But in New Leaf, you can get the ordinance so that weeds like never grow on your island, which is nice. But in Wild World, City Folk, and the GameCube, you were punished if you did not play your game. Those weeds went crazy. Oh God, P.O. Bite. <laughs> no. The culture around it adds. I think there's nothing wrong. I think just, you know, play the game how you want to play. I, I think it's fun. I don't always villager hunt, but I do enjoy it when I do go for it. And you knew you knew it was pretty bad whenever um, your your town was so bad and so full of weeds that that weird like red flower thing would show up on your town. So you knew it was bad. Ladies and gentlemen, days and days. The um, I saw. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, gamer. How was your stream? What were you up to? Hello, hello. Oh, come on in. We're just shiny hunting for Stunfisk and Pokemon Shield at the moment. Looking for, uh, looking for a yellow, yellow fella. It is, it is tough out here. Yeah, Biobloom appeared in my town. Mm 
You cannot be saying 53,000. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, doing full lots hunting in, in Let's Go Pikachu. That is fun. Nora has been doing some Let's Go hunting, which has been fun to watch. My character's hair is white. I can't remember why we did white. I think we're just trying to do something new. We were trying to take a risk. Six nine six nine. <laughs> you know how to spell Stunfisk. <laughs> Pack of Pokemon cards. Nice. That's so awesome, Ice Wolf. Congrats. Lost her mind in game, and her hair turned white. Exactly, Zanny Ludicolum. Hello, Shuckle Nation. <laughs> we definitely won't get to 6969 today, that is for sure. Ain't no way. Ah, oh, thank you, Ice Wolf. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was a blast. Not only are the prop hunt videos like really fun to be a part of with Purple Cliff, but man, they are fun to watch. I don't know if y'all watched the latest Purple Cliff prop hunt video. It's so good. It's so funny. Yukena is so funny in it. Gap, like it's just so good. It's very, very good. Would, would recommend. It is a, a good time. Jelly Beans is pretty iconic. It is, it goes pretty crazy. Has everybody said happy birthday to Pretzel today? Sorry, y'all. Just double checking an email real quick. She's feeling very loved. Pretzel's getting some ham today. <laughs> Varum is fast. Like, terrifyingly fast. Any funny emails lately? I haven't gotten anything too iconic lately. Um, uh, I did get an email from somebody just telling me that they were also a Pokemon fan. And that, that was literally it. So that was interesting. Glad that happened. Mm 
She had some donuts. I need to do something nice for my uh, for my cats for their birthday this year. Poffin's Poffin's birthday is coming up. Or no, no, no. Cleffa's comes first, and then Poffin's. Dude, I can never remember. That was basically it, Luke. That was basically it. I struggle with their birthdays, I guess, because I got them both... ...as, like, kittens, but, like, not... Like, I don't know their, like, their actual birthday, obviously. Um, like, the actual day they were born. I wish I did. Um, but... I think I struggle with the, knowing their birthdays because I've taken them to three different vets in their li in both of their lifetimes. Oh my god. Shock just emailed me. Oh my god, that's an email I should talk about. I got an email recently and I posted it in the mod chat. And it said, and I quote, Hello Party Arly. I would like to offer you cooperation with your Twitch channel. I will provide you with bits and gifted subscriptions, $2,000 to $5,000, and you will have 40% of the withdrawal of these funds and send the rest to me. Your earnings will be $800 to $2,000 per month. Great offer. I will be waiting for your reply. That was it. I don't know why that got past the the, the scam <laughs> like the spam filter but also hello dutchie how are you great offer <laughs> great deal oh kelly i'm glad you're enjoying it i loved that that game a lot i really really loved it are you doing it two player honestly a steal For community clout. Clearly don't know. A juicy offer. What's up, Gus? How are you? Hope you are well. Hello, hello. Oh my god, an emerald. Dutchie, congrats. That is so sick. How many eggs? Nice, Kelly. Me and Oliver did co-op. For Kirby for a little bit. Not arguing in co-op is huge. I would like to do some more Lethal Company. I had a lot of fun. It was really fun. 5,450. Let's go, dude. Couple of days a couple of days ago. That's such a good one, Thomas. Because we constantly argue. <laughs> I'd like to I'd like to bring some some lethal company back. I think it could be fun. And maybe not do it like as late, so some uh some gamers more gamers can can watch and it's not at like 10 p.m. I'll do a few more encounters here, and then I need to go fill up my water bottle. I've never played... I Well, actually, that's not true. I think I've played Overcooked once. I just don't remember it. I really remember played up more than Overcooked. Yeah, 5,000 eggs in an 8192 game.
can watch in the morning. <laughs> More harm than healing for relationships guaranteed. Gus, one day I will hydrate for you, don't worry. Breakups and divorces. Exactly, Churchy. Exactly. It, some could say it's the ultimate test. Thomas, have a good night, gamer. We'll see you later. All right, let's finish out this cave and then I'll go fill up my water. Crow Gunk, it's not about you. We will be, we will use stun, we will solo the game with Stunfisk, mark my words. A solo carry. Stunfisk is like a physical attacker with only special type steel moves, right? Something like that, or is it the opposite? <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna carry the fairy gym for sure. Frothmoth is gonna go crazy. Just gotta get there eventually. Okay, really quickly, let me go use... Uh, I guess I don't really need... I can... I could pee, I guess. Why not? Let me go pee and um, fill up my water bottle. I don't have any ads to play. I apologize. Metal Claw and Earthquake, baby. You receive subscriptions from other people. We receive a hundred year long stream. That was what Shock's email said to me. So that's awesome. Okay. Let me hit y'all with that sweet, sweet BRB. Ooh, Kirby and the Forgotten Lamb music. Ba -da -ba -ba mm. Yes, go grab a drink, gamers. Make sure you have some water, stand up, get your checks in, get all, all the checks in and whatnot, and I will, uh, I will BRB as well. Ooh. All right, give me one second, gamers.
seat. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope your finger is okay. <laughs> Sarah. Hi, hippie. Hope you are well. Hello, hello, gamer. Where did she go? Hi, Bork. How you doing, gamer? Hello, hello. All right, my water is not really filled up that much because uh, somebody forgot to fill up the filter. We won't name names. Hello, Jack. No, no Stenfisk yet. Not yet. Soon. Oh, no, <laughs> Platinum. Thankfully, I, I find that uh, knocking out the Pokemon for, for Outbreak Method hunting, it doesn't take too long. I feel like at most it takes 10 minutes, but I don't know. Maybe I am alone in those feelings. Yep, Migs. Yep. Ready to be done working? Still have an hour. Stuff out there. True, Sarah. Imagine if. Imagine what if. I do cookie not in this game, though. Not in shield. In my copy of sword, I do. But I am... My ass is not... Buying the... Buying the DLC for shield as well. I know I shouldn't ask, but Charlie? What, or, what does that even mean? What... What kind of first time chat is that? E? Charlie? What? <laughs> Charlie bit my finger. Already Charlie? Who the hell is Charlie? <laughs> I wheat. Someone told me they were going to be playing sword today. Not me, dude. We're playing shield. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Hardy Charlie. How does a water filter work? This is a great question, Dinos. I I know that there is stuff to it. It says it when you buy the filter. I guess depending on what you buy. Like it'll tell you on the back what's going on, but are they really telling you the truth? Who knows? Hunting a regular stunfisk. True, Sarah. Real and true. Made a water filter with rocks and sand in the second grade? It's kind of based. I think my neighbor growing up had a, had a cat named Charlie as well. It was like just a common cat name. Hi, Rizky. I redo. How are ya? Sunfisk. Was better than bottle. 
growing up, I know this is like an insane statement, but growing up, like as a kid, I really don't think I drank that much water. It wasn't until like probably high school where I was like, bro, why am I not drinking water? And now I drink a lot, but as a kid, I guess I was drinking milk. I don't know. I don't know what I was drinking. Maybe like apple juice. A beer instead still don't drink enough water it can be tough especially if you didn't like grow up drinking water i drink so much water i like i drink so much water now but i definitely didn't whenever i was growing up and whatnot you really just got to get into the habit of it the bones are strong for sure oh no noob I got you, don't even worry. It used to be better and now you're a menace who has to go the way. To be good about drinking water? Interesting. Interesting to be the opposite. When the weather is hot, you struggle in the winter. water only gamer yeah i used to drink a lot of soda when i was younger and i i do enjoy a vanilla coke here and there still to this day but i try to be chill about my soda i don't think i've had any soda since i moved maybe a sip here and there but That is a, sh a shame, Snide. It's my favorite for sure. It's so good. Drink more water. Had a chugging buddy. <laughs> Coca-Cola has a chokehold on you. Yeah, me as well. Oh, banger song. Dude, I love this song. song goes crazy but da, 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 da. I am a vanilla coke girly I was just talking about it this is called please don't inhale the cinema patrons from Kirby in the forgotten land this is this is the song that plays when you go into like the movie theater area or like the theater Does have the t a title of all time? An insane sentence for sure. Um, da -da -da. When I discovered this song, so I found this song one time. I was watching Hasty, Hasty's stream, and uh, Hasty went on a BRB. And she was listening to this Kirby YouTube playlist. And while she was on a BRB, this song played. And I was like, dude, what is this song? I tried to Shazam it, thinking that would work. And then I, I knew it was a Kirby song. So I was going through like every Kirby soundtrack on this like random like 
video game music website or something and I was going through every single Kirby soundtrack trying to find it and then I couldn't find it so finally I was like okay I'm gonna ask Hasty like what playlist she listens to and then I asked her and then she sent me this playlist and then I went through every single song on this like six hour playlist trying to find it and then I finally found it and the only reason I didn't recognize it is because my ass never went into the movie theater in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I played the whole game, but I never went into the movie theater. I went through a lot of work trying to find that song because I love it so much. True, Ollie. Isn't there like a feature now where you can like try to hum a song and phones and whatnot will like see if they can recognize it? Real, Sarah. Real. And sometimes it's like the most ridiculous song ever. <laughs> Carl Weezer singing like Chandelier or something. Hello, Jacob. How are you, gamer? Humbling and whist- hum- humbling. Humming and whistling sort of works. That's kind of what I do, Hedgehog. I- I try to like just type in the lyrics and hope for the best. I guess lyrics is not the same as uh... Melody. Oh, Z King, thank you. That's exactly what I want to hear when I'm not wearing makeup. Thank you. Women love hearing that, by the way. So keep it up. Three hour of the Pepsi Man theme. Nice, Jacob. Nice, nice, nice. Can't wait to watch. Very, very excited. Miss anything? No. I think the your entire car will shake if uh you know if if you hear if if we see you shiny. The world will know. Plankton AI singing, simple man hits you in the soul. <laughs> All good Zeking. Now you know. Probably not the vibe to say to someone. They you know. Not really a compliment. What Pokemon do you want to get as a Mega? I don't really know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I, I think maybe like Sylveon or something. I don't know. I don't know. We've, we've talked about it here and there. I'm not 100% sure. Meganium could be huge. Snorlax would go crazy. I wonder what a Mega Snorlax would look like, though. Flygon deserves a Mega. If we get Furfro as a Mega, I'll lose my mind. Hello, Professor Chaos. Mega Lechonk. Is Flygon still love? A Mega Melodic would go crazy. Yeah, that's a good point. My dad's best not to assume anything. Yeah, very true, noob. Very, very true.
Megazard. Mega Furfurl. <laughs> Mega Meryl. I, I really don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to whatever happens, but... I don't know. Fire Ghost Mega... Oh, that would... Amelia, that would go sicko mode. That would go sicko mode. I guess we'll see it. And, and I guess we'll see... You know... If they if they decide to like make the starters have a mega or something, I don't know. Z King, thank you for gifting that sub to kitten. Thank you, gamer. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Kitten, wherever you are, I hope you enjoy your emotes. You never played X and Y, so you're kind of confused about the hype at first. I think they're worth playing. They're definitely not for everybody, but. Reggie Gigas. Finally, Reggie Gigas is no longer slow. Mega Gigas. <laughs> oh, Z King, no. It is all good. Sorry if I was a little too harsh. It's just, you know. Now you know. Probably, like, not the greatest opener, but truly, truly no worries, gamer. Um, thank you. I hope it shines. I don't know how many Stunfisk streams you've popped into, Z King, but man, we have been at this thing for quite some time now. We are obviously over odds. It's been tough out here. Do I like Mega Swampert? He's all right. He's a little scary. I wouldn't want to be in the room with one. I'll say that much. What's up, Kelly? How are ya? He <laughs> would spike my drink. Mega Stunfisk, y'all. Mega Gigas gets mega slow start ability, takes 10 turns <laughs> to get started. New evolutions or megas or both. I think it would be, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Both would be cool. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> I just, I wasn't feeling makeup today. I don't know. I'm just too lazy sometimes. I appreciate it. Is it the opportunity to play a lot of Pokemon that you probably never used before? Yeah, the Dex is cool in X and Y. I, I tried to do that whenever we, we played it on stream, Tom. New Megas and new regional forms. I think so too. Mega Empoleon. 10 turn slow start Reggie Gigas. <laughs> it is, it's it's slowly starting to come together. I, I really need a rug in here, but we'll get that when we get that. After stream today, I'm excited because I'm gonna fix my cable management and set up my new camera. I am, I am looking forward to it. Yeah, me as well, Amelia. Start work at 7 a.m. No, absolutely not, Kelly. My, I never wore makeup to like class and whatnot. I had an 8 a.m. almost every semester in college and there was no way. Not even a little bit of mascara was, was going on. All good, Jacob. Thanks for the lurk, gamer. Mega to Dunsparce. Give it one more four segment. Mega to Dunsparce. <laughs> yeah, 8 a.m. is pretty tough. Lots of vicious. I truly, Jenna, why did they think we would be able to get anything done? Even 9 a.m. is absolutely. Mega Deli Bird. Mega Clabapus. Uh, 
that started before 10 a.m. As a history major. Yeah, my, oh my lord, my freshman year of college, my first semester, they didn't let you, like, I, I guess this is, like, a common thing, I don't know. But they didn't let us, like, pick what time our classes started, so you either got an 8 a.m. or you got a 9 a.m., you didn't get to choose. And I was part of the very unlucky group who got an 8 a.m. No good. Prepare you for corporate America. But then after after the first semester of college, you got to choose. But your, your first semester, I didn't get to choose. It was very stupid. Seven a.m. Ay ay ay. Yeah, eight a.m. is borderline. Just it ain't right. But yeah, I got to choose all my classes after my first semester, but it was that first semester where I just didn't get to... Didn't get to choose. What's up, doctor? What do we need to know about silence? This science Absol dance, is early. Absol giraffe. Real Ryan, what's up, gamer? Thank you for the 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? I gotta go home. Thank you for the nine months of tier one. Lord have mercy. The 9 a.m. Risa! <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. I'm not at home. I'm talking Georgia. I gotta fly home. Thank you, Ryan. How are you, gamer? It's good to see ya. Hope you are well. That was a certified... That was an 8 a.m. moment. <laughs> No shot, it hasn't shined yet. It sure hasn't, Doctor. We are fighting for our lives out here. Can't wait for that 10 a.m. resub, Ryan. <laughs> How are you, gamer? Ugh, 5 a.m. I've been getting up pretty early lately, which has been nice. I've been getting up around 8 a.m., which is pretty, pretty early for me. It's been lovely. Start work at 4 a.m., good lord. Whenever I worked at a grocery store, I would rarely, very, very, very rarely get the very few uh, 6 a.m. shifts. Those shifts sucked. It was like opening the store, basically. It was awful. It was like in high school. Why am I getting up <laughs> on the weekend to get to my 6 a.m. shift? What are you talking about? I'm 18. Getting up earlier. Oh, is that when it, co it comes out tomorrow, Kelly? What's up, Blondie? Grab the hello. So you start work at 8 a.m., not a fan. Do you get off at 4, Eternal? Are you looking for a particular Pokemon? No. The title of the stream means nothing. Am I gonna see the new Kung Fu Panda movie? Probably not. I don't know. I've not even like seen the first one since it came out. Hello, Kush. <laughs> How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. How are ya? Stronger than me than your start times? Yeah. I don't know. It's... Waking up at 8 a.m. has been... Has been, like, 
it has been, it's been nice, but it's it's definitely a lot. It's definitely a lot. Hello, Paprika. How are ya? <laughs> it's good to see you, gamer. Hope you're well. Hello, hello, shiny Dynamax Stunfisk. Exactly, exactly. I know, me too, Kush. I'll be feeling a lot better. I'm keeping it real. Give that Fisk a tote bag. Kung Fu Panda 2 is actually great, though. I remember when I was in high school and middle school, I guess, as well. I, I remember, like, going on a field trip to watch Kung Fu Panda. Is that real? Am I making that up? For me right now, it is 2 p.m. On the coast that I live on. Kung Fu Panda 2 was pretty good. I don't remember anything about the movies. I will keep it real with you. Cause you flame. <laughs> Nutmeg is obsessed with take. I guess it's just now it's Nutmeg's Nutmeg stuff. You've donated it to Nutmeg. Something I remember very vividly from um, middle school. I think it was middle school. My middle school, we went to go see the Lorax in theaters when it first came out. We got all the way there and then like i don't remember exactly what happened maybe it was like bad weather or something but we got there we all sat down at the movie theater and then we had to leave because of like the weather or something it was like bad and the bus drivers didn't want to drive in the bad weather so then we left and we didn't watch the movie i remember this very well maybe my mom will remember this So you can't donate it. Yeah, as soon as we got there and we like got situated and seated, I think we watched maybe some of like the pre, like the like trailers and whatnot, and then we had to leave because <laughs> the weather was bad. A good field trip overall. I also remember once in high school, we went on a field trip, like our senior trip was to go to like a trampoline park and somebody broke their leg. Anyway, the Lorax is a, is a pretty great movie. I like that movie a lot. Are you playing Alpha Sapphire right now? Tom, what is that for? When do you do that? Oh, the hoopas. <laughs> we didn't do field trips very often, but when we did, they were quite eventful. Maybe it was because we didn't do them that often. Uh, Jenna, enjoy dinner. Thanks for hanging, gamer. We'll see you later. Enjoy, enjoy. Horton hears a who went crazy. Movie went crazy. Sarah, we had it to change up the vibes. And that was literally it. Just see if maybe like having a non-shiny, if, if it changes, changes up the vibes at all. The vibes are completely the same, I'll be honest. We're probably getting through the hunt a little faster, but. Refreshing, refreshing the vibes. Peel bite, at first I thought you meant you were turning seven today and I was like, buddy, you gotta get out of here. <laughs>
Shaving off a, a few seconds with no sparkle. Okay, I remember the Cat in the Hat movie kind of a little bit. I remember enjoying it as a child. Oh, really, Tara Zach? <laughs> I, even though it was a little scary, who played the cat in the hat? I don't even know, but I, I remember kind of liking it. It's probably very, like, to, if I went back and watched it now, it would probably be no good, but... Mike Myers? As in the guy who voiced Shrek? Exactly, Sarah. <laughs> it's good to see you, Luke. Have a good night, gamer. Nothing, Synth. We are... It's a dry day today. Did they bork? He really was, Kelly. He was getting paid. He was getting paid. A train, have a good night. Hello, Krogunk. Cat in the Hat was your first movie experience as a kid, and it traumatized you? Oh, no. I think my first... If my mom is here, she can vouch. I should ask her for the, for the details, but... One of my first movie experiences that I remember. I know it wasn't my first movie. I think my first movie was like some Elmo movie or something. But I went and saw the Scooby-Doo like live action movie. And I got so scared at like the beginning scene where they're like in the warehouse or whatever. I like literally screamed. I couldn't do it. I couldn't watch it. And so we went into the next theater next door and watched like some Lilo and Stitch movie instead. But now, that movie goes crazy. But as a child, I couldn't do it. Monsters, Inc. That's a good one. Okay, tell me why my ass... I, I was friends with this girl in elementary school whose sister was older by like a few years, like probably three or four years. When we were in elementary school, she was like in eighth grade or something. Maybe she was older by a lot more, actually, but all this to say. One time, she was watching The Ring. And I went downstairs when I was visiting my friend's house and accidentally saw, like, the beginning scene of The Ring. And it genuinely traumatized me for so long. It ruined my life. For like four years, I couldn't do anything alone. Harriet the Spy. Dude, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. It's like the perfect fall movie to watch ever. It's so good. It is, it is truly, it's my favorite Scooby-Doo movie, for sure. Yeah, for sure, hands down. Yeah, they went, they went pretty hard. What's up, Steven? Zombie Island, I don't remember. Like, I really only remember which is goes very well. I also remember the one where they were like solving some mystery with a band that had like a bunch of makeup on and whatnot. What was that? Anybody remember the name of that movie? I think they're like trying to like replicate Kiss or something. It wasn't, it wasn't the Hex Girls. No, trust me. I know the Hex Girls. It was a different one. 
they were like <laughs> gosh it, it was a movie that revolved around a band that looked like kiss like all the, the people in the band had like a ton of like face makeup and whatnot on were they vampires I'm not talking about witches' ghosts. I'm not talking about witches' ghosts. In Australia? Tom, do you remember the name? Kiss was in a scoop? So was it just Kiss? <laughs> Legend of the Vampire? Let me look it up. Holy shit, you're right. This is it. Why were they? Why were they in this? Okay, I, I remember enjoying this one as well. <laughs> why were they in a Scooby-Doo movie in 2003? I was five. What were they doing in this movie? Kiss was in another movie much later on. So then who was in this one? There was definitely a band in this one. Yeah. Cyber Chase is fine. I, I like Cyber Chase. It's not my favorite. I will be honest. It's not my favorite. Kiss was also in the Fairly Odd Parents. What were they doing? What's going on? Early 2000s. The gang versus the vampires. Yeah, the vampires were like in a band or something. I don't even know, man. It was... <laughs> it was something that's for sure healing the mental illness <laughs> okay anyway sorry distraction Scooby-Doo went hard. Basically, all I all, all I'll say is the early like two thousand early two thousands Scooby-Doo movies are probably some of my favorite. Truly, some of the best in my opinion. I really enjoyed Witch's Ghost. That's the one my mom and I would watch quite often as a as a kid. Sorry, Smoke. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> Going off about Scooby-Doo right now. Nobby, you may have been gone for just an hour and still no Stunfisk. We've been at this for over a month and still no, still no Stunfisk. They were teachers at a scare school. I remember there was a Scooby-Doo movie where like, they were like in the Wild West. What was that about? Does anybody remember? Loch Ness Monster was your favorite? I don't know, Tim. Honestly, my nostalgia is such a big factor. Shaggy Showdown. <laughs> Maybe. Um, nostalgia plays such a big factor in, in these movies for me. Like, I really feel nostalgic whenever I watch... Which is Ghost, but... I don't know, I think they're pretty banger. They're pretty great. On the five, 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 five. What's new Scooby-Doo? And the like title theme song for that went pretty crazy too. And the ghoul school. See, I don't think I've seen this one.
collabed recently with Courage the Cowardly Dog. Recently? Is Courage still going? Hello, Muckaduck. Is Courage... Has he found his Courage yet? His own game? <laughs> James, you are really, truly coming in at a time. I couldn't watch Courage. Courage the Cowardly Dog and the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I could not watch that stuff. Billy was disgusting. He was always picking his nose, and he had a giant ass nose. Sorry, Billy, but you were disgusting. I could not watch it. Oh, really, P.O. Bite? The anxiety it brought was worth it. <laughs> Possibly resurging in popularity. Interesting. Still nothing, Sapphire. Thank you, Buttons. I'm trying to go for a long stream today. Trying. To be fair though, we're not like way over odds. So like, you know, I'm still vibing. On our way to 6,000 though, that is for sure. Yet. <laughs> I loved the Powerpuff Girls. I also really, really loved Foster's Home. I thought Foster's Home was really great, but you know the truly the greatest TV show was Chow. Exactly. It was Chowder. Chowder cannot be touched. When we get a, when we get double odds, I'll, I would say we're way over odds. But we're not there yet. Regular show also goes crazy. Chowder is so good, Curry. It is so funny. It's so funny. It's so good. And it's all on Hulu. It's great. I watched Flapjack here and there, but it, it scared me. Um, Clay watched Flapjack and liked it. We have not Snake. We have we have not tried that. No. Yeah, Chowder and and regular show go crazy. Chowder was definitely underrated and deserved more seasons. I think. Yeah, I would agree with that, Churchy. Churchy, are you speaking to a Meowth? <laughs> Incident you're going through? I, Duke, I was talking with Clay about this recently, actually. I never watched Adventure Time. I don't know why, but I just never did. And I would like to, to go back and watch it one day. I just never, I don't know why I never watched it. My sister did, but I didn't. I've like seen episodes here and there, but I've never really watched it. Ten seasons. How? But the, the episodes are pretty short, right? I bet I would like it. I've always been told I would like it. Johnny test. Same, Sarah. Yeah, I did watch Steven Universe. I stopped watching Steven Universe 
So it, it got a little mad to me whenever this one character who I just don't really love started becoming like a main character and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> so I stopped watching Steven Universe, but I know I should go back and watch and, and probably like start over and, and keep watching because I've really loved Steven Universe. Ed, Ed, and Eddie Jawbreaker. <laughs> it was Pear Dot. Yeah, I stopped watching when she was... I just could not... <laughs> did not enjoy her that much, but... Yeah, they made, they made the Ed, Ed, and Eddie Jawbreakers look crazy. They were so giant, it was like... Um, I never watched Hey Arnold growing up, no. I think my sister may have, but I didn't. I was truly, through and through... I was a- I grew up as a Spongebob girly. My dad thought Spongebob was the funniest show ever. And we watched so much of that as a kid. And I'm just so grateful for that. My dad still, Curry. I was just about to say, my dad will come in here and still quote that show. Sarah, me too. Clay didn't really watch it and doesn't want to. feeling uncomfortable. How do I change this? <laughs> Creeped out by SpongeBob. Banded from the house? Really? Yeah, I had a ton of SpongeBob DVDs. I probably still have them, honestly. But yeah, he does seem like a SpongeBob guy. I think I was once talking about how, like, I really enjoyed putting Spongebob episodes just, like, on in the background while I was doing things. And he was like, eh. And I was like, no. A Spongebob party for you for your 25th birthday? Hell yeah. Your dad, you and your dad used to watch it all the time when you were younger? Yeah, that's how me and my dad and my sister were. We would watch it a lot. No SpongeBob household. That is tough. Was it just because SpongeBob was like annoying? What's up, games for the plot? I don't think I saw that. No, I do. I how could you ever forget the David David Hasselhoff appearance in this? That's like the first SpongeBob movie, right? That movie was was iconic. If we're keeping it real. being scared at noon which one is that kush is that the health inspector or is that a different one? Oh, is that yidi me yidi me whatever his name is oh that's the hashlinging slasher sorry i don't know that i really am bad with the with the t the names of the episodes That's why adults enjoy it too, yeah. Just mostly because she found it annoying. Passed out on the couch watching it. Oh, that's so wholesome. 
Hi, Happy. The Alaskan bullworm. Yeah, Nosferatu at the end. He did not have to make that appearance. That scared me. This, for me, the scariest episode of SpongeBob, like truly ever, was the one where Mr. Krabs and Plankton like play that card game or whatever, and Plankton cheats and then gets to take SpongeBob as a worker. And then SpongeBob is like such a bad worker that he takes his brain out of his body and puts it in a robot. I know that the grill is just a grill. Grill is a grill, whatever. Song goes goes hard. That song is iconic and that episode is iconic. But man, that episode scared me as a kid because I was scared someone was going to take my brain out. Forty ninety six are the odds in this game. A grill is a grill. What song is this? This is this is a banger. Silver Snow Story from from some Kirby game. It's called Silver Snow Story. the Gary come home episode very well. 4096 are the odds. 4096. The bus episode pissed you off so much. <laughs> the episode where he keeps missing the bus. Pissed, why did it piss you off? Just because he wouldn't wait for the buzz properly? Jay, that's how I am. I cannot watch episodes with pets. It makes me sad. I, I couldn't watch the seahorse one. It made me really sad. And just could not get out of rock bottom. <laughs> Another mystery. Yeah, I cannot do that episode. Another episode that freaked me out was anytime the Flying Dutchman was involved, he scared me so much. Same, Jay. I can't do it. I always have to use that website, Does the Dog Die? Never forget Glove World. <laughs> Eternal, have a good night, gamer. We'll see you later. The jellyfish dance episode. That did go pretty crazy. The episode with the hooks. Yeah, that episode was kind of traumatizing. Mrs. Puff having her stolen. Having stolen her identity and having killed her husband, Sylvester. What? didn't want to watch the show anymore. <laughs> That's understandable. I think if you're a person who is like always on time or is just like anxious about being late to things and missing things, understandable. I think my dad's favorite episode of SpongeBob, I wish he were here. He might be here. He could chime in. My dad's favorite episode of SpongeBob is the sailor mouth one with just the dolphin noise. He loved that episode. Made him laugh very hard. Crabs is a... Uh... <laughs> 
And then they just start saying it over and over, and it's just the dolphin noise. <laughs> they are idiots. Squidward smells. Good. Yeah. What do you have to say? What? Rats. Stop! <laughs> Could not be in here right now. You knew it was coming? <laughs> Arlie didn't. She's too trusting. I didn't know it was coming. You're too trusting. You didn't watch Spongebob much as a kid, right? <laughs> yeah, we talked about this no, the other I day. Did. I thought you said you didn't like it or something, or your mom didn't like it. What? Am I making this up? I swear to God, we... I have never talked about this. Yes, we did. I swear to God, this happened a few, like, a few days ago. Maybe it was a different show then? Was it Chowder? I swear to God, we had a conversation the other day. And you were like, yeah, my mom didn't like Spongebob that much, so we didn't watch it that much. What? I guess maybe I dreamt this. Maybe you had this conversation with someone else? I did not have this conversation with someone. I swear, I remember sitting on the couch talking about this. My mom definitely didn't love us watching a ton of Nick. Huh, okay. Maybe I'm just gaslighting myself. Yeah, I don't know. My mom know. didn't like me watching Adventures of Billy Mandy. <laughs> I didn't like Grim Adventures of oh, Billy I Mandy. I love Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy. I did not sucks. like it. My mom did not want me to watch it. Now. Billy was always picking his disgusting ass nose. It was so gross. Mandy is So is he. And Billy? Billy's sick. The real goat of early Cartoon Network is Foster's Home. Yeah, Foster's Home was great. Foster's Home was goaded. Anybody else play the Foster's Home browser game where you have to, like, collect cobwebs around the house and, like, you get to make an imaginary friend? It's like an MMO. I played the heck out of that thing. I did not. I got okay, see, where are you going? Okay. Cake? <laughs> Wait. Isn't Wilt... The red guy? Cake! <laughs> you had a crush on Wilt? What? <laughs> I guess he's pretty nice. That's funny. Him and his one little arm. <laughs> Alright, I guess I made up Clay not liking Spongebob. I swear to God, we were having a conversation about how... I wanted to play Spongebob on in the background and he didn't and like, I, 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 I guess I'm just remembering it all completely wrong or maybe I made it up. We definitely had that conversation. Wow, you are not happy I'm here. No, I'm fine. You're here. You just keep coming in and I'm just scared what's going to happen. We had that conversation. You de we definitely had a conversation about how I didn't really want to. You, the way I thought you pitched it was you wanted to sit down on the couch with me and watch Spongebob. No, I don't want to watch Spongebob. I just like having Spongebob on the, in the background. Yeah, I think that's fine. But like, I don't want to sit down and watch Spongebob when I could do almost anything else. I see. Also, the only good seasons of Spongebob, like, truly good seasons were in the first five. Yeah, I agree with that. Up to the first movie. Mm. The first movie is good. It is, we were talking about that earlier.
True, Joe. True. Yeah, I also kind of want to play Squeak Squad again. We're listening to Kirby music today. I do. Five, five hundred dinos and nothing. Could you do me a favor or is your meeting starting right now? Oh, can you make me a bowl of um, Doritos? Thank you. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Do we have uh, any vegetable? <laughs> okay. Let's promise Stunfisk a trip to Bikini Bottom to get a Krabby Patty. I think we can all agree here that we all wanted to try a Krabby Patty as a kid. They look so good. I, I, I shouldn't have said vegetable. I should have said a green onion. <laughs> Cook up a bowl of Doritos. Step up some Doritos. That's what I'm saying. No, I mean, I wanted to try a Krabby Patty so bad, but I didn't really want to try a Pretty Patty that badly. It kind of looked gross to me. I really just wanted a Krabby Patty. And yeah, the jellyfish jelly went kind of crazy. Jackpot, I literally ate one the other day. Those gummy Krabby Patties because Oliver sent me for my birthday a bunch of them for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why he had a bunch of those, but... The kelp juice. <laughs> exactly, Kush. What does the magic conch shell? <laughs> the leaf stars. Yeah, I wanted to try the jellyfish jelly. A diet Dr. Kalp. The pizza from the pizza episode? That's also a banger episode. Hello, Joey. How are you, gamer? It's a rock. As Nickelodeon land? That's so fun. Happy Thursday, Joey. How are ya? It's not just the boulder. Oh my god, Vic Trick. That is tough. Yeah, I needed a knitter and mail for the Let's Go Johto. Or sorry, Let's Go Kanto. Or sorry, what was it called? The PM7 Kanto thing I did a few months back. I needed a knitter and mail, and I was trying to do a really, really big catch combo for it. With the charm, I never got it. Real, Zach. Real. Thank you. Real, Zach. It's not just a Snorlax. Going for your ninth birthday. Probably the highlight of your life. Is this true, Joey? Is this true? Did you get slimed? I still can't believe that was a thing. Nickelodeon was such a... ...era. What's up, Boston? Welcome on in. Oh, congrats, Alan. That Katy Perry slime clip, I can't believe it's real. I can't believe it's real. I wonder what the slime smells like. I don't think so, Tim. I think I was really and truly just a cartoon girly. I think that's it. Thank you. Why? Mm. Got leaked at some point? Really, Churchy? What was it? Mm. 
<laughs> All your ratios you've dropped on the gamers throughout the years. <laughs> Bet Katy Perry still smells it. Goolagoon. Four parts lime, one part S. Yeah, I like, as I got older, I became more of a Cartoon Network girly. I, I have not watched Gravity Falls, but I know I should. I know I should. Also, I am going to be eating some chips here and there. So forgive me. Go right now and stream. Handsome Dorito Bowl moment here. I've never tried it, Sarah, but I know I should. Yeah, I've heard good things about Gravity Falls. I've just never watched it. If I'm being honest, I know Gravity Falls only has like, what, two or three seasons or something like that. It's pretty short. I would probably want to do... Adventure Time first. Also, ads are about to start, gamers. Enjoy your ads. Prime sub if you can to avoid them. Or you can just tell me what your favorite ad is. Whatever ad you got. Let me know. Two seasons, I see. Danny DeVito was in Gravity Falls. Makes a vanilla pudding. Oatmeal, applesauce, and green food dye. That is disgusting. <laughs> and hello, Silver. Hope you're doing well, gamer. Good to see ya. I have seen Steven Universe, but I did stop watching it after... I think I got, like, two in, or three seasons in before I stopped watching. I should, I should pick it back up or maybe start over. Because I really enjoyed it. Yeah, same Joe. I also could never get into Adventure Time, really. But I never really gave it a chance when I was younger. So I should. Here's a Shellos. I do know I need to finish... Steven Universe. I, Ryan, that is kind of how I felt. I had some gamers in high school who were really into it who made me not want to watch it. I don't know if any of our shinies that we've caught in Sword and Shield have been marked. You know what I should do is I should check my Whalmer and my copy of Sword and see if it's marked. I have no idea. I have a few Dynamax Adventures sh shinies that I don't think I ever checked to see if they were marked back in the day.
Every show after Adventure Time was trying to be Adventure Time. That's interesting. Loved regular show. I could still watch regular show. Like, regular show and Chowder were probably my favorite, like, TV shows as, like, a middle school girly, for sure. Victric, it was, um, playing through BDSP, when, when BDSP came out, it just reminded me a lot of, like, Pokey Radar and just brought back a lot of Gen 4 nostalgic feelings. And so I decided to get into it and try it out when BDSP came out. And I, I started with Pokey Radar hunting, and then I decided to go for Turtwig. We got the Turtwig. And that was that how I got into it so it was like in the middle of my streaming careers when I got into shiny hunting and whatnot and I think it's really fun um Gunner Mike thank you for the brand new tier one gamer thank you so much I appreciate that hope you enjoy your emotes thank you thank you big story to get into plenty of fantastic standalone episodes that is good to hear. I did not silver. That's been a very on and off hunt. I haven't picked that hunt up probably in about like two weeks now. But that's been a very on and off hunt. I think I lost my counter progress for Cyndaquil. I was probably around like 600 resets for that Cyndaquil. Pokemon Gold and Crystal. And my PC crashed. Last stream, I like lost all my auto counter progress. Are you doing, um, are you doing any radar hunting in Platinum? Here's a squishy for Migs. X and Y, trying to get a sand dial. I think I'm going to start work on a new YouTube video that is going to be an X and Y video. A shiny hunting and X and Y video. I don't think I'm going to do any of it on stream, but, um... I'm excited to start it. It's it's pretty easy, Ryan. I think. It's a little hard to do. I don't really know how to do it with like multiple hunts at once, but doing it with just like one hunt on the screen, it's a vibe. Yeah, chain fishing goes crazy. I watched Brando do chain fishing. And he went crazy with it. He went sick with it. I really want to get into X and Y radar, but I struggle with it. It kind of sucks. I'm keeping it real. So also, hello. How are you? So also. Sometimes shiny hunting off stream is a vibe because you can just like watch a TV show, you know? But right now, chat room is my TV. Good luck with the hunt. Thank you, Gunner Mike. The sand island sun and moon. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, James. I'm glad it was an easy setup. Yeah, they're always they're always fun to do, Sarah. Kind of. The EV stuff was fun to do, even though finding all those EVs took forever. It was very fun. Hello, Vandy. How are you, gamer? Yeah, I have also only failed, Sarah. I've been like pretty bad at it. I guess I just am not built for it. I don't know. It seems really easy to mess up, but I was bad at radar at first, I guess, as well. So maybe I just need to keep practicing.
Apologies, gamers. I am snacking big time. I would love that, Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> so also. Try something harder. Just not like a Manaphy radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Ranger, sorry. Yeah, that is too much for me personally. I would say a Pokemon game that's like easiest, I'm assuming, is what you're asking. Um, is just any game with overworld shiny Pokemon in it. Let's go. Scarlet and Violet Legends. Just because you can see a lot of Pokemon at once, you know? Tempest, thank you for the prime! Thank you so much for using your Prime here, gamer. Hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you. The big five, 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 five is coming, y'all. Legends, unless you're looking for Stunky. Yeah, Legends Arceus is nice because there's a sound. Not only will it shine in the overworld, but there's a very, very loud sound that'll play. I think this shiny hunt is a trap. Thomas, that is such a vibe. When Sword and Shield came out, I had a test the next day. I think in like art history or something. I can't remember. And I stayed up like until 3 a.m. playing Pokemon Sword. And then I had a test the next day and it was no good. I don't I don't remember what I made, but I graduated college and that's all that matters. Try the SOS method. I've never really given it a, a good honest try, TBH. Hello, fist bite. 4.30 to play Scarlet and Violet when they came out and working from home that day. Hell yeah. That is the vibe. Raining all week. That is crazy. Is this Gen 2? Ooh, Ryan, that is a game I would love to see you play one day. I think I wanna I wanna replay Gen 7. Cause yeah, I never did the wormhole stuff ever. I would like to replay Oras and uh Sun and Moon. I have a 3DS era. Hard gold. Ay -ay -ay. Of all things, a sand trip.
See you later, Sylvester. Have a good night. Our gold soul silver. Geek. What's up, Nick? How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. Oh my god, Amelia, <laughs> that's iconic. All of the 3D games? Or wait, all of the third gen games or 3D games? 555, five, five. we're almost there, Nick. We're almost there. Ultra speed run, ultra moon speed run is just simply never happening. And that is that. Five, 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 baby. Five, 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 five. It would genuinely be pretty iconic if it shined on five, 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 six. Again. That's so cute. I'll have to show you the copy of Ultra Sun I, I bought. The name is insane. <laughs> Some of the nicknames on that file, they never got past the professors, like, going to the lab. But the names they gave some of their Pokemon were absolutely insane, and I gotta show it one day. Yeah, one of my favorite thing about things about buying used games is like looking at the file and seeing what's up. James, do you think they were like hacked with all the shiny Pokemon they had? Or did things seem legit? I've never bought a used copy of a game where there was shiny Pokemon on it. Ever. Not that I've really bought a lot, but my Sapphire save didn't have any. None of my 3DS games have ever had anything. Were you love snooping on the old owner's stuff? Absolutely. Ah, interesting, James. Interesting. Ooh, let me know how the search for Platinum White and White 2 goes. I really need a copy of Black 2. I need a copy of Pearl. I've played black too, but I own a copy of white too, which is weird. It has everything right now? Let's go! And it's not like a stupid price. Yeah, Pokemon games, the last place you want to buy them is definitely, uh... Definitely don't go to a GameStop. <laughs> I would say, honestly, never go to a GameStop. Just, just stay out of there. 
Yeah, 3DS capture cards are pretty, pretty tough. What's up, Donut Shoes? How are ya? Yeah, absolutely, Ryan. Especially if it's like a good place, you know? My, whenever I lived in Georgia, my local store sold me, sold me a, a broken copy of Pokemon Gold. I should have like cracked it open before I bought it, I guess. So it's on me, I guess. Honestly, maybe it's not. I don't know. Am I victim blaming myself? But they, they, they sold me a terrible copy of Gold for like full price and I'm still mad about it. There's no saving it, I don't think. Like all the pins are just... The one and only we thought about going for that, but yeah, we're playing shield. Our gold for 80. I recently bought a, a box copy, not like the, you know, actual box, just like the, the case, I guess, of heart gold for like, I think $100 or $90. I can't remember. Or no, it was, I got a copy of heart gold and Pokemon white. Or no, no, Pokemon Black. I got both of them for 150, I think it was. Like, the total for both. From a person that Clay knew. Clay just really do be having these connections. From, from GDQ. Sealed copy of Mario Kart Double Dash. Let's go. What's up, Brando? No Pokey Walker. I have no idea where my thing is. I would love to find my Pokey Walker. Who knows where she is? Hope we're doing well, gamer. One hundred fifty wasn't too bad for both Black and Heart Gold. Getting both of those. I was pleased. Amelia? The heck? Thank you, gamer. <laughs> thank you for the five. Thank you, Amelia. If you got gifted a sub, I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you, thank you. Very kind. Donut shoes, let's go. You paid 190 for a hard gold. Oy, oy, oy. Took that L, yeah. I mean, it was the last thing you needed, you know? Good lord. Only DS game you have is white. They are pricey. The 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 DS games really are just it's it's crazy out there. Let's go, Amelia. Let's go, let's go. I don't know why. I don't know. The older games are definitely pricey. Like, if you're trying to buy a copy of, like, Pokemon Crystal or Emerald, it's tough out there. But the DS games are definitely tough right now. And honestly, who knows what'll happen with X and Y, but it's probably time to snag a copy of X and Y if you haven't already. Now is, is probably the time. Apologies, I'm still snacking.
Yeah, I feel like I feel as if they are going to go up for sure as any Ludicolo. And yeah, definitely it is easy to buy fake copies of not only like the GBA games, but Yeah, there are some fake DS games out there as well. I'm pretty sure Clay owns a fake copy of Platinum. <laughs> Yeah, I have a digital copy of Y on my 3DS, but I would love a copy of, um, like a physical copy just because I'm annoying. That's true, Sarah. But honestly, I feel like if you've played the game before, it's probably not too hard to get through. Like, I feel kind of confident that I could get through a copy of, of a Gen 3 game that was in Japanese. I feel relatively confident I could do it. Ooh, nice, Brando. 6969 looking realistic. <laughs> Oh, wow, that is huge. $20 for each of those is huge. Yeah, I like to have the- I like to display them on my Switch games. It's like, I don't know where the other Switch games are, but those... I like having them to display. Clay is more of a, like, a digital person. I like having the physical copies for sure. Oh my god, Kush. <laughs> They just couldn't wait. I'll definitely do a bookshelf tour eventually. I think once my office gets completely set up, I could do that. Oh my god, Kush. <laughs> I would love to know who that was and find that, that playthrough. That's so funny. Oh, really, James? That's kind of sicko mode of you to do. I would feel confident. Oh my god, stun fist. I think I would feel confident in Gen 3 and Gen 4 beating the game without knowing what anything is going on, like the words and whatnot. I would not feel confident with Gen 5. Yeah, just Gen 3 and Gen 4, I think. Maybe Gen 2 as well. Maybe. I don't think they can be Cookie Monster. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. never to my knowledge hello joey i never traded games i don't think i don't think i did that i know that my friend once gave me his copy of leaf green to beat the elite four because i beat the elite four in, in fire red and he couldn't beat the elite four in leaf green so he gave me his copy to beat and i couldn't do it either his team sucked but I did give it back, I'm pretty sure. I think. How are you, Joey? Hello, hello. What's up, Neo? There is no way. 
I would be able to beat Gen 1 with uh, without knowing what was being said. Especially because your inventory is so tiny. Ryan, as you should, dude. Let's go. <laughs> That's iconic. Iconic. I wish I kept that copy of Leaf Green, but honestly, that was a good friend of mine, so like it's fine. A Walla gang, let's go. This 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 water bottle goes crazy. The big 5,600 coming up. goes kind of crazy joey that that goes kind of crazy how will you it sounds to me like you got baja blasted if i am if i am keeping it real Okay, anyway, I have snacked, finally. It is over. Blast it to the Baja verse. <laughs> Noob, good morning as well. I had some Cool Ranch Doritos for my snack of choice. And guess how much the bag cost? Just guess. How much do you think in LA a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos cost? What's up, Jerry Ops? How are you? I think it was like, I don't know. I think it was a normal bag. Y'all, it was $7. I think a little more than seven. Already they're too expensive at five. It was $5 back in Georgia. When Clay got home and told me how much it was, I was like, okay, never again are we buying these. This will be a, one, a nice treat this week, and then never again. Yeah, it should be two over seven. It's crazy out there. It is, it's crazy. I don't, I think it's the, I think it's just a normal bag of Doritos. I don't think it's the family size. Yeah, back in Georgia, it was five. Seven dollars for Cool Ranch Doritos is just rude. Um, Stuby, thank you for the three months of Prime. <laughs> thank you, gamer. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank ya. It's tough out here.
raised all their prices recently interesting some sports stadiums no longer carry them buying bulk is definitely the vibe i think i just we don't have a membership or anything um oh joe thank you for the prime thank you so much for using your prime here gamer thank you thank you Got my Doritos out in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Sarah. That is true. It's just us two. However, okay. Cooking for two people is definitely a lot different than cooking for yourself. And I'm currently trying to figure that out. I'm in like the learning process of that right now. To the Cool Ranch Doritos Fund. Yes, thank you, thank you. I always, I honestly prefer just cooking for myself because then I have leftovers. But leftovers are not very common anymore. big air fryer girl if I'm keeping it real exactly kush <laughs> four to six serving size that's probably what I need to start doing noob so that we have some leftovers because we've been like meal prepping or not meal prepping sorry well kind of I guess we've been prepping like what we're gonna cook for the week right and we ch normally choose like three meals but they only last like three days so I just, I don't really use an air fryer. We just use our oven, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really doing air fryer stuff. I've never really been a big air fryer person to begin with. I used to have one, but I never really used it. That is another, that see, cooking is just so complicated. Because sometimes you'll be buy you'll have to buy like a bag of potatoes or something for for this recipe but then you only use like three of them and then you're just stuck with a bag of potatoes that are gonna go bad <laughs> so i totally relate james clay and i bought some dairy product i can't remember what it was for our lasagna and then like we just had no reason to use it afterwards Guys, where's the stun fist? Does anybody has anybody does anybody No clue, bestie. Oh, wow, Laxlotad. I've always wanted to grow my own or just, like, do my own. Like, herbs, maybe, and stuff. Could be fun, I think. Family of five and recipes seem to cater to two. Yeah. What's up, Corey? Fry them and you can serve them with a burger or sandwich. I should definitely start like freezing things whenever I don't use them like immediately. Litwig is out in the front right now just because it's the only like non shiny Pokemon that is a good level in my box. And we're just, we're just, you know, seeing what happens if we send out a non shiny Pokemon in the front. What, what are the vibes like? So far, no good. At least the songs have been, have been vibing today.
you mostly wing it when it comes to cooking? I would say I, I, I really wing it when it comes to like spices and whatnot, which is probably not good. Mainly like measurements when it's like, put a tablespoon or put half a teaspoon. I'm like, ah, that's probably, I'll just like use a spoon and guess, which I should probably stop doing that. But it's a very toxic trait of me to not properly measure dry ingredients. Measurement of the heart. <laughs> Winging spices and herbs is your favorite part, Jack? The caveman cooking method. I think I always use too little if I'm keeping it real. Vanilla and garlic are, are two good ones. That Those are some good ones for sure. I always use too little out of the fear of ruining it. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Maybe I should just measure. Favorite juice. I like a good apple juice. I love a good Snapple moment. I haven't had Snapple in so long, but I do enjoy a Snapple. I, I can't deny it. Remix that shit so hard. That is a vibe, I think. I don't like tea. No, I'm not a tea person. I am interested in a second cup of coffee today, if I may keep it honest with you all. I might have to have one, but it's almost four. I was always an apple girl. Like, of all the Snapple... Flavors, I liked apple the most. Why does Quaxley suck? Have you seen him? A Bob blasted nap. Oh, my dad just sent me a picture. Oh, sorry, a video of Cleffa. Okay, I would show this, but the trash can is like right in the view and it's gross. You can tell she's meowing. And there she goes. Oh, and she's back. This is the longest video ever. Good Lord. In about 10 days is when we go get the cats, so pretty soon, which is very exciting. Very, very excited to have the cats back soon. IXLT, hope you're doing well. 
Hello, hello. Different to other juices. Snapple is like its own brand, right? I think. They better like this cat tree, Zanny Ludicolo. I'm gonna be pissed. I better see Kleppa and Poffin in that thing. I better. I will be so mad. Hello, cat. How are you, gamer? Hello, hello. It's good to see you. I hope you are well. How have you been? How was your weekend? I guess it's already Thursday. I hope your week has been good. Oh yeah, Clay and Poppin are gonna have be having the stare-offs of a lifetime. I will turn this car around. That's true. The, the Snapple facts are definitely interesting. If I had to predict right now, Clef is gonna like that cat tree, and Poffin is gonna like the small one. I feel like I feel like that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Interesting, Bogmaster. Interesting, interesting. I've given them catnip before, Laxotad, just a tiny bit. And they didn't really seem like they reacted too much to it. Meow wanna? <laughs> um, I don't know. They didn't seem like they really... I don't know. So I've, I've only ever done it once. And it was like in some toy or something that they had and... Neither of my cats really reacted to it much. Oh, that's Snapple Fact 108. Is this true? I'm about to have to start like copying and pasting that YouTube video and just pinning it at the top of stream chat. Of that guy finding the shiny stunfisk. <laughs> Silver Vine might be their vibe. Okay. Okay, okay. I've honestly... This maybe sounds mean, but I've never really been much of a cat treat person with my cats. However, both of my cats are overweight, so that's why. We got to get Poffin on a, on a meal plan when he gets here because that man is just... He has gotten a little chunky. Clefa... is just a big girl. Ah, okay, Kush. Right. Real and true. Gets violent on catnip. Claws out. A little extra warmth, yeah. I know, I miss cats too, Joey. But you got Zuko, right? Hanging out with Zuko right now? Interesting, Thomas. Yeah, Cleffa will be warm <laughs> this coming winter. Yeah, we kind of were overdue, Amelia, honestly. We were getting way too lucky. Yeah, Stunfisk is, is giving hater energy. I'll probably go for 10 more minutes. But then I have to go because my eyes just hurt. I need to start wearing my glasses during streams again. I am keeping it real. What is this noob? Okay, I thought you were Rick rolling me. I was scared. Yeah, this is the this is the video I watch to remind myself that Stunfisk is real. <laughs> it can happen in this cave. It's real and it's true. What's up, Luz? How are ya? Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. That really is Stunfisk right now. Him is just not happy. 
I see Joey. Yeah, I, you know who I miss? Maggie. Whenever Clay came to pick me up so we could drive out here, Maggie loved Clay. And for a second, we were like, is this a sign? But cannot have Maggie as well. But Maggie loved Clay. I've never seen Maggie. Love so much, love someone so much. She got on his tummy and just stared at him. Hello, Choodle. Wow, really, Amelia? Oh my god. I guess when you... What about the phases as well? It's the real question. Did she slow blink? I don't know. <laughs> Can you imagine, Kush? Ooh, Ducky. I have I have a, something to admit here. I do not have marbles installed right now. I uninstalled it. I'm, if I'm keeping it honest with you, it's been uninstalled. I uninstalled it while I was like trying to figure out what was wrong with my computer. I was just uninstalling a, ran a bunch of random stuff I didn't need on my desktop at the moment, or just on my computer at the moment. I can, okay, I can reinstall it. We can play it on Sunday. Aye, aye, aye. Good Lord. Oh, when the first three, Amelia. I thought you were talking about all the all the hunts we've done thus far. This is the perfect excuse. No, I, I deleted a bunch of stuff from my computer on Tuesday night. Nine thousand. That's no good. No good, no good. We're still going scrap. We're going sicko mode. Yeah, 9,000 is already a horror story in itself, but eggs! Ba -da -dum, bum, bum. No, Scrap, no, no, no. <laughs> eggs are, you gotta be a different level for that that's that's save and hydrate save and hydrate save and hydrate hello poisonous kid thank you for the four months it's year one how are you good to see you gamer hello hello oh let's go platinum correct congrats gamer finally is the counter not going up? Oh, okay. I got scared. <laughs> Thank you, Lax Lotad, for converting your prime to a, an organic tier one grass fed. Thank you, thank you. I know there was loud. Huh, okay. Have to go fix that then. Gave you a fright. Okay, nobody else convert. I'll have to fix it in Streamlabs later. No 
No more converting. But thank you, Laxotad. <laughs> Force feeding people grass. A little Animal Crossing jump scare. We talked so much Animal Crossing earlier. Apologies, gamers. Don't have the DLC. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, isn't there a Hisui and Voltorb outbreak happening right now? Event or something? Feels so long ago now. Barbara's Revenge. Yeah, this has been a longer, longer stream. I wanted to go for six hours today. Oh, I'm a week late. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. There were Hisui and Voltorb for a second there. Or Electrode or something. Something was happening. Joey. <laughs> if I'm feeling up to it tomorrow, I might do a little stream tomorrow instead. Just to make up for the fact that we did a short stream on Tuesday. Like literally like an hour and a half or two hours. because my computer is having so much trouble. Dinos, have a good night, gamer. And Joe, have a good night as well. That's true, Kush. I bet it's gonna happen again today. <laughs> it's only fitting. My computer like had just crashed and then it started to drop my stream started to drop like random frames here and there. And I had not dropped any frames since moving. And so I was like, okay, we should probably call it. Like it's a sign that something needs to be fixed and I shouldn't push my computer at all. And while I was ending stream, somebody came in and started like throwing a fit that I was ending stream so early. On Tuesday? was interesting that's for sure what's up tristan hope you're well gamer said you were useless Look at you now. You cleaned up those 500 frames. And I thank you for that, Joey. True muck. I do not play TCG, no. But I, I am interested in it. I think whenever the Pokemon, the pocket TCG thing comes out, I would be very interested in just seeing what it's like and whatnot. Oh, yeah, as long as the cards aren't NFTs. Monster day for the lurk. I, I, I would be pleased if that were not the case. I'll definitely not buy anything on the app, but... All good muck. We're probably going to go through this cave one last time for the day. See what happens. Hello, Oddstone. Pricker Games. Yeah, I think it feels like it's a good way to get into the TCG, even though it's a little bit different. Noob Sleep. Pokemon Sleep didn't work last night. I think I accidentally rolled on top of my Go Plus Plus. 
and ended it too early. I was mad when I woke up, I'll be real. Off in-app purchases with that game, yeah, agreed. I think my computer is okay, Oddstone. We'll see. Who knows? So far, so good. Nothing bad has happened today, and I don't know. Oh my god, Ryan. <laughs> Haven't touched it since. Yeah, I, 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 whenever I moved, I didn't touch my Go++ for a really long time. Died during the night. Snorlax died. What's up, radio? How are you, gamer? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. The music. I turned the music off. Pikachu still, like, does its little cry, but it doesn't sing or anything. I am good, radio. It's good to see you, gamer. Hello, hello. Hope your week has been going well. And we're playing Pokemon Shield right now on stream. All right, we got to get to... Sorry, my back had to be popped. We have to do one more encounter, right? We might as well do the rest of the cave if we do one more encounter, though. Doing well, Radio. Very tempted to... Have a second cup of coffee. Five, six, six, six. There it is. There it is. This hunt is for a project we've been working on for a few months now. Um, which is a Pokemon Shield badge quest. I'm gonna make a badge quest movie again, like I did with uh Pokemon Scarlet. And it'll be a, a it'll be a fun time to work on it, I think. Thank you, thank you, Kush. Yeah, exclamation boy badge tells you I what found we're doing. It. Smiley face. Radio Twitch moved it match. <laughs> thank you for the 15 months of Prime, gamer. Thank you, thank ya. Truly crazy that we have we've known each other so long. It, there should be like a bunch of tutorials, Crispy, on YouTube that are relatively easy to, to follow. Yeah, I'm using the auto counter radio. I sure am. Has there been like any update with the drivers or anything or like any, any update with it recently that I am unaware of? Because I'm very unaware. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Now I kind of want to get to five, six, seven, eight. This is a curse. I don't think it was, Joey, but I do think it is interesting that when my PC crashed one time, all of my auto counter information wiped. It's kind of weird. And the one common thing... Well, okay, no, because then my... When I was editing my PC crash too. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I'll never know what was going on, but whatever. It's okay. Stream was fine today, and that is truly all that matters. Da -da -da -da. I'm snoozing the ads. Don't play ads. Yeah, exactly, noob. I thought it was just like a capture, like a typical Elgato thing or something. Real Blockmaster. Real and true. What's up, Rip City? 
Okay, no auto counter updates from what I can see. Noted. Thank you, radio. Noted, noted. I had my PC crash the other day. And I lost all of my auto counter information from it. Like all of my hunts, my saved hunts just were completely wiped. And I didn't know, and I was like, huh. Is the auto counter betraying me? But I don't think it is. Oh, Krogunk, no! Yeah, I, I've been using the auto counter almost every time my computer has crashed. But a few days ago, I was editing and it gave me the same blue screen. And I was like, okay, there's something else going on. I think we figured it out. Not 100% sure, but I don't think it's the auto counter. I think just something. Who knows what happened? All that matters. Noob fixed it, I think. And <laughs> VM. <laughs> Yeah, it crashed while we were playing New Leaf twice. And uh, I was like, oh, it's definitely the 3DS. But then it crashed on Tuesday whenever we weren't playing on the 3DS. 5678, baby. There it is. Green as ever. You can't tell. Now you can. But then on, on Tuesday, it crashed when we were playing just a Switch game. And then it also crashed after stream while I was just editing. And I was like, okay, something's just wrong with my computer, probably. Okay, Sunfist Kates us. Five, six, seven, nine. That's a pretty good number to call it on, I think. Oh, and a shallows. <laughs> and now the number looks terrible. What? What a time. What a what a good time Stunfisk is causing us all to have. It's been it's been real and fun for sure. Dunfisk is so great. Forty percent on yes, fifty six percent on no. The 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 people were believing today, which is very interesting. Normally it's like eighty percent on no. Well, how about that, gamers? Well, how about that? Six nine six nine refuses to shine till you leave it on a nice number. We had two birthdays today, and it still didn't shine. Isn't that just disgusting behavior? Good, good, good work, believers. Almost, almost for sure. Every time. I, I, I applaud the believers for believing, honestly. Thanks, gamers, for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for all the lovely chats. It was a good time today. It was a, it was a nice, nice stream today. Um, ba -dum. Ba -da -da -dum. Do not play the ads. Good lord. Okay. Um. Thank you, Steph. Hello. It's good to see you, Fisk. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. I will possibly stream tomorrow since Tuesday's stream was so short. Uh, because my PC was not cooperating, so I'll possibly stream tomorrow. We'll see. 
Uh, and if I do, then we're gonna have a brand new, uh, uh, camera. New camera. New camera tomorrow. Is what I, is what I tried to say. Um... Okay, I have somebody we could raid. Who I've never raided before. Play. I'm excited to set up the new camera. I'm about to end stream. And then I think just do put all the new stuff. Do all the all the new stuff. I'm excited. I think the dummy battery has arrived. I think so, I think so. Thank you all so much for, for hanging out today. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Thursday. I will possibly see you tomorrow. I'll let you know. And yeah, that's all, folks. Thank you so much for, for hanging. I really appreciate it. It was lovely to chat today. The vibes were pretty great today. I don't really know what Papa C is doing. It looks like a sacred gold... Oh, Sacred Gold Hardcore Nuzlocke. Oh no, it looks like somebody just died. Who knows? We'll find out. Let's go find out. Let's go see what the drama is. Um, go say hello to Papa C. He's, he's lovely. A really, really great stream friend. Um, feel free to copy and paste a raid message of your choice. This is my favorite raid message. Just the R will gone. I love it a lot. Uh, but yeah, feel free to copy and paste the raid message of your choice. Uh, join the raid. You get some channel points for uh, for being in the raid. You do need to be normal. Just a tiny bit normal, though. Just a tiny bit normal. But yeah, thank you all so much for, for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. I really, really hope you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely rest of your weekend. Take care of yourselves, gamers. And I'll see you in, uh, I'll see you in pa uh, Papa C's stream. Alrighty gamers, I'll talk to you talk to you possibly tomorrow, but definitely in the Discord. Have a good night.